Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. The Avenger of the Uzumaki Clan. Chapter 61. E.H. Karen looked at Menma, who suddenly became a little gentle, in a daze. Hee hee, I actually have a similar feeling, which is why I didn't attack you. My name is Uzumaki Menma, what about you? Menma looked at Karen with a touch of peace and said softly. Karen, my name is Karen. Karen said a little timidly. The situation suddenly turned around. Karen's little head was somewhat unable to react. The main reason was that she had prepared for the red-haired boy in front of her to completely not believe her. After all, this was also a common-sense development. People from different villages met for the first time. The most important thing was that what she said was completely without any evidence. It sounded like a pure lie. Who would believe her? So, if Menma didn't believe her and even wanted to attack her, Karen thought it was normal. Just as she said, she had no choice. Karen knew better than anyone how her mother died, and after her mother's tragic death, she was treated like hell. She was afraid that she would be like her mother in the future, forced to give birth to one or even several children whose fathers she didn't even know, and then die miserably. That kind of future was not what Karen wanted. So, she wanted to take a gamble here, even if she thought the possibility was not even one in ten thousand, but she was willing to gamble everything. And now, she made the right bet, but she felt at a loss. Ah, is this believing in yourself? Karen felt a very unreal feeling in her heart. Looking at Karen, who was confused and even a little confused. Menma smiled lightly, and his expression was much gentler. Looking at the girl in front of him, Menma couldn't help but recall the scene he saw when he just came to this world twelve years ago. Menma, I'm sorry for letting you bear such a responsibility, but you are the elder brother, and the elder brother must protect the younger brother. You must stay with Naruto, eat well, rest well, grow up well, and don't learn bad things from teacher Jiraiya. And, and, sorry, Menma, sorry, Naruto, sorry. The face of the red-haired woman bursting into tears. For twelve years, it has always been engraved in Menma's mind. These are indeed just the cheap parents he, picked up, in this life. There is indeed no feeling between him and them, but his life in this life was given by them, this is beyond doubt. If he really didn't feel touched at all, Menma is really a cold-blooded animal. Father, mother, there is indeed not much feeling between us, but my life in this life was given by you. I acknowledge this grace of life, but the path I want to choose is destined to go against Naruto. Single quote. Menma took a deep breath, a very determined look in his pupils, and subconsciously stretched out his right hand and patted Karen's head gently. Karen seemed to be shocked by Menma's behavior, and subconsciously wanted to retreat, but it was only less than a second before she was restrained by herself. Menma also noticed this keenly, and naturally withdrew his right hand immediately. Karen, it's a good name. So, Karen, what are your plans next? You don't want to go back to Kusagakur village anymore, right? Menma looked at Karen in front of him. Although he had already made corresponding plans in his heart, he still wanted to ask Karen what he thought. Me, I don't know, I have been living in Kusagakur village since I was born. My mother has passed away for several years. I don't know where I can go. Karen was also stunned when she heard Menma's question. Then a bitter look appeared on her face. For Karen, who is only 12 years old now, she really doesn't know where her future lies. Then, can I follow you? Joining the Hidden Leaf Village, I will be very useful. Just like I said just now, I am a perception ninja and a medical ninja. If I talk to the relevant people in your village, I should be able to join Konoha, right? When Menma just opened his mouth, Karen seemed to suddenly think of something, her eyes lit up, and she looked up at Menma, asking with a hint of hope. Menma was also subconsciously stunned when he heard Karen's words. He didn't expect Karen to be so thorough. This is no longer a question of trust or not, it means to leave everything to him, right? Can the first instinct be so strong? No, is there no room for choice? Single quote. Thinking of what Karen just said, Menma also suddenly realized. When people have no choice, they can only think of what they want. However, do you want to join the Hidden Leaf Village? This is really a fantastic idea. I am about to leave Konoha. Single quote. Menma thought about it with some amusement, but after a little hesitation. Follow me, of course, but, Karen, are you willing to believe me? 
Menma looked at Karen and asked with a very serious expression. Ah, of course I am willing to believe it. Kaurin was startled at first, then nodded frantically. That's good, follow me next, I will arrange a real future for you. Whether it was out of sympathy or personal intention, Menma would definitely help Karen. This was the right thing to do both emotionally and rationally. Although Karen was a little confused and didn't know what Menma meant, she still understood what Menma said. At that moment, it would be a lie to say that Karen had no hesitation, fear, or confusion. But in the end, she still chose to believe Menma. The reason was still so simple. Among the existing choices in front of her, this was the most reliable and reasonable thing she thought. Yeah, therefore, Karen no longer had any hesitation or confusion. She looked at Menma and nodded heavily in response. Then, let's go. Menma smiled and nodded, and stretched out his right hand to Karen. Karen looked at Menma with a steady expression, and without the slightest hesitation, he put his right hand on him. Swoosh. Then, the two of them jumped and left the place together, leaving behind the cold bodies of the two Kusanagi lying in a pool of blood. And this is what is happening everywhere in the Death Forest. Killing is the specialty of ninjas. Is that all you have? The son of the fourth Hokage, the last orphan of the Uchiha clan, seems to really disappoint me. Orochimaru still looked like a grass ninja, licked his lips, and looked at Nazuo and Naru who were already in a state of embarrassment, with a very sarcastic look on their faces. At this moment, Naruto and Sasuke were facing Orochimaru, and they had no time left to chat. Both of them were gasping for air, and each of them looked scarred and embarrassed. On the other hand, Orochimaru still looked undamaged. The huge disparity between heaven and earth was clearly visible. The expressions of the two people also looked solemn as never before. Of course, the two of them still don't know that this is the result of Orochimaru's ultimate invincibility and release into the sea. If it weren't for the purpose of verifying Sasuke's current strength and potential, the current strength gap between the two of them and Orochimaru would have changed in an instant. The flash kill is the only result. Haha, it seems that we are both going to die here together, but fortunately Sakura can survive. This is the last good thing, right, Sasuke? Naruto deliberately smiled and looked at Sasuke beside him. Shut up, idiot. Sasuke had a gloomy look on his face, and his hands were clenched tightly. He didn't want to die here, and he definitely didn't want to die here. The revival of the clan and the revenge against Uchiha Itachi. Sasuke was absolutely unwilling and would not allow himself to simply die here. The chakra fluctuations that were further released. There was a hint of scarlet in the pupils. It seemed as if there was a faint Magatama peeking out from inside. E.H. Sasuke, why has your eye changed? It seems a bit similar to the eye of brother Kakashi. Naruto on the side also widened his eyes at this moment. The words spoken, and the changes I feel. This also made Sasuke stunned. Subconsciously, I touched my eyes, which were already extremely clear eyes with a single Magatama Sharingan. This surge of power. Sharingan, I finally gained this power. Single quote. Sasuke's self-confidence grew infinitely at this moment. At the same time, Orochimaru, who seemed calm in the distance, was actually a little disappointed just now. After testing for such a long time, Sasuke did not use the Sharingan at all, which is enough to prove that this Itachi's younger brother has not opened this one at all. The highest secret of the Uchiha clan. Compared to Itachi, this talent is still far behind. Single quote. Orochimaru shook his head slightly and thought. But even so. Orochimaru will not give up on Sasuke. This is his only chance to obtain the bloodline of the Uchiha clan. Itachi is too strong. Of course, the more important thing is that the Mangekyo Sharingan restrains Orochimaru. Of course, the art of reincarnation brought Orochimaru to see the hope of eternal life. But it was obvious that Orochimaru's soul, was also hurt. Genjutsu itself is a technique that acts on the spirit, and can even be said to be a technique on the soul level. After Orochimaru's own soul was greatly weakened, Itachi's restrained effect on Orochimaru became very obvious. Otherwise, with Orochimaru's strength, even if he was really no match for Itachi Uchiha, how could he be killed instantly with one move? Orochimaru himself is also clearly aware of his own weaknesses. It is precisely because of this that he is eager to obtain the Sharingan and obtain the purest Uchiha bloodline. Itachi has no hope here, 
so he can only it's up to Sasuke. No matter how bad Sasuke's qualifications were, Orochimaru had to give it a try. But, it was also at that moment, when Orochimaru saw the Scarlet and Dark Sharingan appearing in Sasuke's pupils. A flash of ecstasy suddenly flashed in his pupils. Sharingan, it's the Sharingan, single quote. In this extremely reversed situation, if Orochimaru was disappointed before, he was so happy now. The gaze towards Sasuke instantly became extremely hot. This trip was not in vain after all. Single quote. Orochimaru suppressed the joy in his heart and licked his lips again. Boom. Then there was another explosion of his figure. He flew directly towards the position of Sasuke and Naruto. The three of them had another fierce battle. The fierce battle fluctuations that spread one after another were far beyond the level of ordinary genin. Both Naruto and Sasuke displayed their powers to a superb level. Especially Sasuke, now that he has the Sharingan. Now Sasuke's personal strength is definitely at the top of the Chunin level, but all this still seems so weak and ridiculous in front of Orochimaru. Orochimaru, who was still in full control of his own power, pushed Sasuke to the final extreme level bit by bit. When Menma rushed to the nearby area, what he saw was the scene where Naruto had just been blasted away by Orochimaru's blow, the back of his head was hit hard on the tree trunk behind him, and he fell into a coma, and Sasuke was completely restrained by Orochimaru. Fortunately I didn't miss it. Single quote. Menma stood on a high point, looking at the three people below, with a hint of happiness in his pupils. If he really misses Orochimaru here, then he really has no choice but to try the porcelain pharmacist's pocket. Of course, he has no intention of showing up yet, but Sasuke is still awake and cannot let Sasuke see him. As for Naruto, isn't he still dead? Even if he really died in the hands of Orochimaru, Menma would not have any unnecessary emotional fluctuations now. Since that night, he has completely seen himself and Naruto clearly. Minato and Kashina at least still have the kindness to give him this life. He accepts this responsibility. But Naruto, that's just a stranger who is only related by blood, not to mention that their respective philosophies are completely opposite. Menma would no longer have that stupid way of using a past life filter, unless this younger brother would stand firmly on his side. If not, Menma doesn't care about the flood. Orochimaru in the lower position seemed not to notice Menma's arrival at all, looking at Sasuke who had been restrained by him. He suppressed the greed in his heart. Not bad, really good. For your age, your performance is already very good but compared with Itachi, you are still far behind, Sasuke-kun. Looking directly into Sasuke's pupils, he said this in those magnetic horse words. Itachi, who are you? Sasuke, who couldn't move and even had difficulty breathing, suddenly heard Itachi's name from Orochimaru's mouth, his expression instantly became very ferocious, and his struggle became more intense. Haha, this is what I want. Sasuke-kun, you have to remember it. Today, I will leave you a small gift. If you feel unwilling, then come to me. Sasuke-kun. Orochimaru smiled coldly, then suddenly stretched out his neck, opened his mouth, and exposed his fangs, and bit Sasuke's neck fiercely. The next second, the power of the curse that was directly injected into it. Ah, Sasuke's expression suddenly changed, and he felt the scorching heat that spread throughout his body from the shrill cry. Buzz. The next second, the Magatama-like curse mark of the Sharingan appeared on Sasuke's neck. When he caught Orochimaru's eyes, this Uncle Snake also showed a satisfied smile. If you want to become stronger and seek revenge against Itachi, then come to me, Sasuke. After leaving such a sentence, Orochimaru straightened up and left, leaving Naruto and Sasuke, who had fallen into a coma, to collapse on the ground on both sides. Menma glanced at the two people who had fallen into a coma. When he sensed Haruno Sakura's chakra approaching at a high speed in the distance, he did not hesitate at the moment. In a flash, he moved towards the person who had been captured. He firmly locked the direction of Orochimaru's chakra aura and flew away. With Menma's current perception ability, it is impossible for chakra within a radius of more than 10 kilometers to escape Menma's precise detection. He also planned to follow Orochimaru closely, stay slightly away from this area, and show up in a place where there were no other people at all. But Menma still somewhat underestimated Orochimaru. Haha, 
I thought it was just a passing little mouse, but didn't you expect that it came directly towards me? When did the little devils in Konoha have such courage? It was just a few kilometers away. Under Menma's perception, Orochimaru stopped walking, looked in the direction of Menma with a cold look, and said in an extremely cold tone. Tisk tisk, you are indeed one of the legendary three ninjas. I thought this distance could hide my traces. I underestimated Orochimaru Senpei. Menma, who had always maintained a subtle distance, thinking that he would not be discovered by Orochimaru, heard Orochimaru's words, especially when he could clearly sense that Orochimaru had firmly locked his own energy. Menma was startled at first, and then he no longer concealed his body and jumped out from behind. I also feel in my heart that my experience is really not rich enough. Compared with these old foxes, I can still only be considered a rookie ninja. But Menma didn't feel discouraged, after all, he was indeed a rookie ninja. Orochimaru also saw Menma stepping out, and his snake eyes condensed. Although Orochimaru Senpei should already know me, let me introduce myself. My name is Uzumaki Menma, the current Nine Tails Jinchiriki of Konoha Hidden Village. Menma looked at Orochimaru with a smile on his face and said in a calm tone. HMPH, you know my name, and you even took the initiative to come to me. Menma-kun, it seems you are far from being as simple as you appear. Orochimaru looked at Menma in amusement, and asked with obvious probing intent. As one of the former quasi-high-level officials of Konoha Hidden Village, he still maintained close and frequent contact with Danzo after leaving the village. Orochimaru naturally knew all the inside stories of Konoha Hidden Village, including Uzumaki Menma. The true identity of the Nine Tails Jinchiriki and some of his performances in the past 12 years. Originally, Orochimaru's views on Fengma were similar to those of his own teacher. Now it seems, that teacher at home was completely mistaken. What do I know? This is not important to Orochimaru-san, right? What is important is why I came to you and what I can bring to you, Orochimaru-san, isn't it? I think we should be able to do it let's have a good talk and make a deal that will benefit both parties. Menma still looked at Orochimaru with a calm expression. Deal, Menma-kun. Did you misunderstand something? Whatever you want to know, I can definitely catch you and find out later. A sarcastic look appeared in Orochimaru's pupils. Boom, the chakra that was released directly. Compared to the duel between the two of them, the aura was several times more terrifying. Whoosh, with a kick of his feet, one of the former three ninjas attacked Menma's position with great speed. Sure enough, we still have to fight first. Single quote. This development did not go beyond Menma's expectations at all, if Orochimaru could really negotiate and trade with him just by relying on his words. Then Orochimaru, a shadow-level powerhouse, is a joke. The attitude of a strong man when facing a weak one is always the same, that is, just give him a punch. Nine Lamas, single quote, Menma was already prepared, he also shouted deep in his heart. Snort, single quote, boom. The same terrifying chakra aura erupted from this school. Aha, the red chakra swirling outwards, and the three blood red tails floating behind him. Menma's momentum suddenly surged. Quote exclamation mark question mark quote. This cold and powerful aura spread out. Nine-tailed chakra, three tails. The moment this scene came into view, Orochimaru's pupils suddenly shrank. Even though the aura and strength of this chakra have not reached his level, under this mode, Orochimaru has completely thrown away his previous disdainful attitude. This direct change of posture. Swoosh. At close range. Menma also took the initiative to meet it. The speed and strength blessed by the Nine Tails Chakra are almost enough to crush all the strength of the Jonin. Swish. From the front. The left leg smashed down. Quote exclamation mark question mark quote. Orochimaru's face was solemn. He quickly took a blocking posture. Bang. Under the heavy blow, a loud noise suddenly burst out, and Orochimaru felt his body suddenly sink. This huge force transmitted, this brat, single quote, makes Orochimaru's eyes become extremely cold. Shadow snake hand, the posture of holding, the signature ninjutsu directly taken out. Swoosh, 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 between the sleeves. Countless snakes suddenly appeared, which would scare ordinary people at the sight of them. Each snake spit out extremely cold tongues and pounced on Menma at an unimaginable speed. HMPH, 
This attack was difficult for most Jonan to block easily. Menma just smiled coldly. Snap. With a clap of his hands. The blood-red chakra coat rose up. The three tails waving with it. Wow. The angle of coverage wrapped all the snakes, and in a very violent way, all the snakes were crushed to pieces. This fully displayed strength. Even Orochimaru's eyelids trembled slightly. But such strength was not enough to make Orochimaru give in. Boom. When Menma was about to press further, Orochimaru also took a step ahead to violently smother Menma's attack. Spirit Summoning Technique After pulling away a little distance, Orochimaru immediately bit his finger, and when the mark was completed, he pressed down into the air. Puff! A cloud of white mist suddenly appeared. As it quickly dispersed, a giant snake several dozen meters long appeared in front of Menma. This is not the most powerful giant snake in the Ryachi Cave. It is just the most common summoning snake below, but it is no problem to use it to deal with the existence below the level of ordinary Jonan. Facing Menma who has just exploded the strength of three tails of the nine tails chakra, it is impossible for Orochimaru to summon a snake of the level of 10,000 snakes. Moreover, there are a lot of ordinary giant snakes in the Ryachi cave, so there is no need to feel sad even if a batch of them die. However, the giant snake summoned by Orochimaru at this time is still much stronger than the one that just played tricks on Naruto and Sasuke. After all, the power displayed by Menma at this moment is a strength that Naruto and Sasuke can't catch up with. Summoning Technique It looks really cool. Single quote. Looking at Orochimaru standing on the snake head, Menma's pupils subconsciously revealed a touch of envy. Which boy doesn't need cool things? If there is a chance, I must get one single quote such a thought just flashed through menma's mind swoosh in the opposite position the giant snake had already pounced towards menma under the command of orochimaru and the speed of the surging rise was already faster than most of the jonin if it was menma in his normal state it would be absolutely difficult to react to such a speed but now he used the nine tails chakra all aspects have been greatly enhanced this is already an unmatched giant snake in the eyes of ordinary ninjas Menma's expression did not change at all. From the angle of jumping up easily. Rasengan. On one palm, the Azure Chakra Sphere condensed and manifested. Quote exclamation mark question mark quote. The technique completed in an instant. Swoosh. The figure stepped forward. Pressed down suddenly. Orochimaru's expression was stern, and he jumped up in advance, trying to continue to control the giant snake to open its bloody mouth and swallow Menma alive. But Menma's speed was obviously better. Bang. Dodge the abyss mouth in advance. Aim at the position just above the head. The blue light and shadow pressed down fiercely. After a loud noise. Wallala. The might released by the Rasengan was completely unstoppable by this giant snake. It exploded and burst open its giant head. A stream of pungent and extremely strong blood sprayed in all directions. This brat. Single quote. Orochimaru who had already pulled away for a distance, now looked very dangerous. This former three ninjas was slightly angered by Menma. A mere junior. Boom. The cold light in Orochimaru's pupils became stronger. The chakra that further burst out, opened his mouth, and directly took out a sharp long sword from his body. Kusanagi sword. Single quote. The moment he saw this long sword, Menma, who was not far away, also shrank his pupils slightly. This long sword, which can be called a divine weapon, cannot be blocked by ordinary defense. This is enough to prove that one of the former three ninjas has started to take real action. The strength of a cage-level warrior. Then it's just right to test my limits here. Single quote. At this moment, a sharp look appeared in Menma's pupils. The most appropriate time, the most suitable place, and the best opponent. Boom. The blood-red chakra color became brighter and brighter. Menma bent his body. Bang. Accompanied by the bursting air wave. At this moment, Menma also ran towards Orochimaru's position with all his strength. Hee <laughs> hee. The figures set off each other. A trace of bloodthirstiness appeared in Orochimaru's snake pupils at the same time. Ding ding ding. Kang. The two of them also fought in a group in an instant. The light and shadows kept flashing. The waves of air that rippled out layer by layer, and the sound of metal colliding. Bang. Boom. The rolling momentum. The sound of explosion. The collision between the two people became faster and faster, and more and more intense. 
The cold light flashed continuously. The surging power. Boom. This can be regarded as a high-level ninja duel. Even the battle between Zabuza and Kakashi a few months ago was inferior. And it was also under such continuous confrontation. Menma's body was adapting to the chakra of the Nine Tails little by little, with faster and stronger explosive power. Even though Menma was suppressed by Orochimaru because of his lack of experience and the difference in skills, he also used the sharpness of the Kusanagi sword to break the outer layer of the Nine Tails chakra and injured Menma. But this minor injury, in front of the Nine Tails chakra and the huge life recovery power of the Uzumaki clan, can't be regarded as an injury at all, and Menma became stronger and stronger. Menma was getting more and more into the state. This brat. Such a development greatly exceeded Orochimaru's expectations. He originally thought that Menma was already very good at being able to use the chakra of the nine tails at his age. The amount of chakra of the three tails was definitely not something Menma could easily control. If he was not careful, he might be directly controlled by the tailed beast. However, what Orochimaru didn't know was that although Menma and Kayubi had not yet reached a level of empathy, the initial agreement was enough for Kayubi to support Menma to a certain extent, with Kayubi's cooperation and Menma himself. The hard work, the blood of the Uzumaki clan, this is definitely not a joke. Three tails, no, this is definitely not my current limit. He had no experience before, but now in the battle with Orochimaru, Menma has grasped his current state more accurately. Nine Lama, more, I need more chakra. Single quote. Those are the blood red fox pupils that are gradually appearing. Buzz. This red fruit further released the nine tails chakra. Suppressed by Orochimaru. This was not the result Menma wanted. What he wants is the qualification to talk to Orochimaru as an equal. This is. The nine tailed chakra suddenly burst out, and the chakra code became richer and blood red. This clearly could feel a sense of horror and suffocation, especially after seeing the first chakra that appeared behind Menma. On the occasion of four tails, Orochimaru's pupils also shrank suddenly. At this moment, he finally couldn't maintain the calm posture before. The power shown by the three tails. Orochimaru is confident that he can still defeat him, but the numbness under his four tails is enough to pose a fatal threat to Orochimaru. Not to mention, Kayubi is the most powerful tailed beast. Even if it just drags on. Even the slightest pain in the face can kill him, so there is no point in continuing to fight. What's more, these are only four tails, what if there are five, or even six? Even if the probability is very low, Orochimaru must consider the possibility, not to mention that this is still in the Hidden Leaf Village. He still has to have some scruples. The thought of this. Ninja Technique the formation of 10,000 snakes. Orochimaru no longer had any hesitation. He mobilized a large amount of chakra and spit out an extremely terrifying number of snake shadows from his mouth, blocking the position between him and Menma. Wait until Menma can finish cleaning up these snake shadows. Orochimaru has regained a safe distance. Okay, I admit that I was wrong before. Menma-kun, I was rude. What do you want to talk about? Or what deal do you want to make with me? Now you can tell me. Orochimaru let out a breath of turbid air, retracted his Kusanagi sword, and looked at Menma in the distance, speaking in his usual hoarse tone. The world of ninjas is so simple, the weak eat the strong, and the winner is king. Menma could even be said to threaten Orochimaru's power if he didn't match it. It is absolutely impossible for Orochimaru to sit down and talk so well. Menma himself knew this too. To be honest, Menma has already wanted to stop. Orochimaru doesn't want to be besieged by Konoha Hidden Village. Does he want to be discovered by the people of Konoha Hidden Village in advance? That was definitely asking for death, and when the fourth tail exploded just now, Menma could already feel the burning sensation coming from the skin around his body. This is a kind of erosion of the nine tails chakra on one's own body. This is something Menma cannot reverse at this stage. This is also a process that every Jinchuriki must go through, allowing his body to slowly adapt to the chakra of the tailed beast, and finally achieve a perfect fusion. Haha, <laughs> I knew Orochimaru-san is a sensible person. Menma also smiled softly, looking at Orochimaru who had completely restrained his murderous intent and returned to his previous deep posture, still telling lies with his eyes open. HMPH, tell me, Menma-kun, what is your intention? To expose my identity and even to use Kayubi's chakra, 
what do you want from me? Orochimaru's pair of slightly narrow snake eyes were also staring at Menma closely at this moment, and said in a low tone. No, 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 Orochimaru-san misunderstood. It's not that I want to get something from you, but that we want to make a deal that benefits both sides, Orochimaru-san. Menma smiled slightly and said in a determined tone. Ho ho, then I'm all ears. Orochimaru seemed to be a little casual and said that he recognized Menma's power only because of the existence of Kayubi. But Menma is only 12 years old, and Orochimaru doesn't think that Menma at this age will bring anything to him, let alone what he is pursuing, what can a mere brat know? My intention is very simple. I plan to leave this village in the near future and join Orochimaru-san. Of course, it is not to become your subordinate, Orochimaru-san, but I hope to cooperate with you, Orochimaru-san. When the time comes, I hope that Orochimaru-san can provide a give me a temporary place to stay, and then I also hope to get some professional research content and material support from Orochimaru-san, such as cells and some secret techniques. This is my need. Quote. Is that really the case? It's interesting. Menma-kun, leave this village, haha. -ha. If one of my teachers knew this, he might go crazy. But, Menma-kun, as the Kayubi Jinchuriki, how do you plan to leave the village? Oh, do you need my help? Quote. Orochimaru narrowed his eyes and said with a strange smile. Ha ha, there is no need for Orochimaru-san to worry about this aspect. I have my own way to leave the village, and Orochimaru-san's return this time should not just be to reminisce about the past, right? So, it depends on whether Orochimaru-san is willing to take him in when the time comes. I am such a defector. Of course, Menma would not be stupid enough to expose the plan between Orochimaru and Sunagakur village right here. It would be difficult to explain the source of his intelligence, and it would be easier to arouse Orochimaru's unnecessary suspicion. After all, what he wants here is just to reach a preliminary agreement with Orochimaru. As for what happens next, can the words spoken by two people with no trust at all be taken seriously? Everything has to be improvised and solved by playing games with each other. The same effect can be achieved here only through some reasonable speculation. Orochimaru obviously couldn't help but stare when he heard Menma's words. The dangerous coldness that was faintly revealed was restrained by Orochimaru himself only a second later. It seems that Menma-kun has really made a lot of preparations in the past 12 years. Of course I have no problem with these conditions, but there is no free lunch in this world, so why should I provide these conditions? Here it is, Menma-kun, I can't see any of your mutually beneficial deal right now. Orochimaru said calmly, Don't be anxious, Orochimaru-san. I believe that my conditions can definitely impress Orochimaru-san. The first condition is myself, the most orthodox bloodline of the Uzumaki clan, and the nine tails in my body, Orochimaru-san. Aren't you interested? I believe some research on Orochimaru-san will be helpful, right? Menma pointed at himself and said meaningfully, You are very brave, using yourself as a condition. Orochimaru was stunned for a moment, then looked at Menma with a hint of interest and said. Orochimaru would not be surprised that Menma would know some of his research. The great thing is that he obtained it from Konoha. As for the means, seeing Menma's current strength, Orochimaru didn't think it was anything. The impossible. Of course, even if you kill Orochimaru, you won't know that all of this comes from the welfare of the travelers. Ha ha. I have always felt that I am very courageous, and as long as I am willing to make any exchange to leave this evil village, isn't Orochimaru-san the same? Menma chuckled lightly and said pointedly. Very good, I agree with this condition, or I should say that even if it is only this condition, I will accept the deal you propose. However, it seems that you are still prepared. Menma-kun. Of course, to be more precise, this second condition is what I have carefully prepared for you, Orochimaru-san. That is the relationship between the Sharingan and the Rinnegan. I think you will be very interested, Orochimaru-san. Well, otherwise, I wouldn't have gone all the way back to the village and played such a ninja game with Sasuke-kun. Menma leaned forward slightly as he spoke each word. This time Orochimaru was once again shocked by Menma, and the sudden change in his expression was the best proof. What? Orochimaru looked at Menma with a very fierce look, and the shock and suspicion in his snake eyes were so clear and strong. Menma-kun, do you know what you are talking about? Of course I know what I'm talking about, Orochimaru-san, and you don't need to doubt me. 
Indeed, in your opinion, how could I, a mere twelve-year-old brat, know anything? But, don't forget, there is a there is a guy who has survived for thousands of years, and your partner is not a simple thing, is he? Orochimaru-san. Menma said with a slight smile. When Orochimaru heard this, his snake eyes revealed a different kind of sharpness. This was really an answer that Orochimaru had not expected. To be honest, it was a little outrageous, but it seemed reasonable. If it was the Nine Tails, then everything could be explained. It was a true monster-level existence that had survived for who knows how many years. It was just that Orochimaru always felt that something was wrong. However, these were minor issues, including some other issues that Menma deliberately mentioned. Orochimaru didn't care at all. Just like Danzo, the old man thought that he was using Orochimaru, and Orochimaru had the same view. Menma in front of him could also refer to the way to deal with Danzo. Not to mention that compared to what Menma could bring him, what he had to pay was simply not worth mentioning. Some doubts did not need to be taken care of at all. Such a deal. Orochimaru is definitely happy to see it, not to mention that once he arrives at his home ground, it is hard to say what will happen to the rest of the things. The relationship between the Sharingan and the Samsara I. Interesting, you are really interesting, Menma Kun, very good, I agree to all the conditions you put forward, when you come to me, everything can be treated according to the highest standards, as long as the answer you bring in the end can satisfy me, whatever you want, as long as I can provide it, I will satisfy you, Menma Kun. Orochimaru licked his lips, and the pair of snake eyes that showed the color of the monster stared at Menma like that, and laughed in a low voice. In the eyes of Orochimaru, this is still a sure win-win deal. He does not need to actually pay anything, at least for now. Hearing Orochimaru's words, Menma was instantly happy in his heart. Although he was 80% to 90% sure that he could convince Orochimaru before, when Orochimaru really agreed to his trading conditions, Menma's joy in his heart still emerged uncontrollably. As mentioned before, Orochimaru is not Menma's only choice. But it is the best choice at present. No matter what kind of plan he implements next, Orochimaru is his best springboard. By the way, I have a small request here, I hope Orochimaru can agree to it. Oh, what is it? Menma kun might as well speak directly. That is, before I leave Konoha and go to Orochimaru san, please help me take care of my companion. She is also of the Uzumaki clan like me, and will be of some help to Orochimaru san in the future. Menma said to Orochimaru with a smile. At the same time, not far away, Menma's shadow clone also protected Karen with an uneasy look on her face and flashed from the other side. When Menma and Orochimaru were talking, Menma had already told Karen some things through the Shadow Clone, including the things about the Uzumaki clan. To be honest, just like what Karen said to Menma before, she had no choice. When Menma put this choice in front of Karen, it was actually a single choice without any extra options. But when she saw Orochimaru's extremely gloomy look, Karen showed an expression that seemed like she was about to cry. This guy is not a good person no matter how you look at it. Karen, Konoha is not suitable for you, and I will eventually leave Konoha. Believe me, at most one month, I will definitely come to find you. This is Menma's promise to Karen. Karen is also willing to believe this promise, because she has no choice, and because she is willing to gamble on Menma. Karen believes in her eyes and her feelings. Yes, Menma, I believe you will come to pick me up. Karen tilted her little head looked at Menma with a very serious and hopeful expression, nodded and replied. Those were obviously answers with a little tremor. It is enough to prove that the girl's heart is not calm. Yes, I will, this is our agreement, Menma said with a touch of endless softness, gently rubbing Karen's smooth hair. Orochimaru-san, is there any problem? Menma looked at Orochimaru and said the latter half of the sentence. Ha ha, of course there is no problem, Menma Kun, I said, as long as you can satisfy me, I will meet all your requirements. When Orochimaru first saw Karen, he was stunned at first, then nodded indifferently, and smiled gloomily. The Bloodline of the Uzumaki Clan In the early years, Orochimaru wanted to study what the huge vitality of that clan was, but he had never had a qualified opportunity. Now there are two orthodox Uzumaki clan members, one of whom is the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. No matter how you look at it, it is the best research material. 
Orochimaru has no reason to refuse. Go, Karen. Menma patted Karen's shoulder gently. Karen also looked at Menma deeply for the last time, and it seemed that she took that step with all her courage. This was Karen's first gamble in 12 years. It should also be the last gamble in her life. Even though there was a deep abyss ahead, Karen took this step without hesitation and jumped directly to the side of Orochimaru. And just before the two were about to leave, Menma kun, this is just out of my personal curiosity. Can you tell me why you want to leave this village? Although you are not treated very well in this village, it doesn't seem to be a reason for you to leave this village. Oh, of course, if it is inconvenient, then forget it. Orochimaru seemed to have thought of something, stopped and turned his head to look at Menma and asked, and another special luster was reflected in his snake eyes. Reason. Menma was stunned for a moment, then after taking a deep breath, he looked at Orochimaru with a calm look and said, Is the identity of my father and mother a reason? Orochimaru-san, of course, this is just a secondary reason. More importantly, I am incompatible with this village. If I must say, maybe I am the same as you, Orochimaru-san. This village does not have the future I want. The people and everything here make me feel the atmosphere of oppression. What I pursue is not in this village. It should even be said that this village prevents the future I want, so I want to leave here. This sentence is very true. Since Menma came to this world, of course he not only wants to survive, he also has his own ambitions and dreams. Of course, this ambition and this dream are still very personal now. He wants to live happily. Then take revenge on those who make him unhappy. Anti-tooth is the life philosophy that Menma believes in. Villain. Selfish. Narrow. No justice at all. So what? This is a world where the strong represents everything, a world where strength determines everything. He just wants to be a selfish person, can't he? He is not Uzumaki Naruto. His name is Uzumaki Menma. To this end, the first thing he has to do is to allow himself the most complete freedom and stronger power. This is the most basic condition. If you don't even have freedom and power, talking about anything else, it's just a joke. Father and mother, you really know your identity, Menma kun, and are you the same as me? Haha, ha, interesting, you are really an interesting guy, Menma kun. Orochimaru's snake eyes revealed a look of, sure enough. Well, Menma kun, I'll be here today. I'm looking forward to our next meeting. The last words that fell. The figure that gradually fades away. Just seconds later, the figures of Orochimaru and Korin disappeared from Menma's eyes. The forest became extremely quiet again, and along with the gentle breeze that blew quietly, within Menma's own perception range, the last trace of the cold atmosphere completely dissipated. Menma also took a deep breath, as if all the strength in his body had been exhausted at this moment, he sat limply on the big tree behind him. Fortunately, there weren't any accidents. Menma exhaled a long breath, feeling a little lucky in his heart. After all, in the deal with Orochimaru, even though Menma looked determined to win, the initiative was actually still in Orochimaru's hands. If Orochimaru was unwilling to trade with Menma, he would even give Menma if Ma is sold, Menma will have no countermeasures at all. But why would he do this? The reason is simple. This is his best choice at the moment. What's more, Orochimaru is really very practical. As long as he can give him what he wants, he will never break his promise. Danzo was like that. The same goes for the deal he planned to make with Tsunade in the original novel. Although it is a bit strange for ninjas to talk about credibility, Orochimaru can really be said to be a reputable person. This was one of the reasons why Menma made such a decision. However, a certain, beast, may not be so happy. HMPH, kid, you really know how to confuse right and wrong, what's inside the body? Humph, do you mean to say that those things were all told to you by me? And the relationship between the Sharingan and the Samsara I, brat, where did you get this information? And you are really brave to use my chakra as a bargain. Almost immediately after Orochimaru left, Kayubi raised his fox head inside Menma's body and said with a cold snort. Under normal circumstances, as long as Menma deliberately suppresses and isolates the Kayubi's chakra, it is impossible for the Kayubi to obtain information from the outside world. But just now, Menma used the Kayubi's chakra to fight. The leaked chakra one carat is enough for Kayubi to learn intelligence and information from the outside world. 
Even Menma himself still needs to rely on the Nine Tails Chakra. Kayubi had learned everything about the previous conversation. Naturally, he expressed his dissatisfaction very directly at the moment. Ha ha, don't be so impatient, Nine Lama, don't you need to be a shield? Otherwise, what can I do to convince that guy? Don't mind this little problem. In the spiritual world within the body, Menma also looked at Kayubi with a smile and said, Kid, who are you? After 12 years, I dare not say that I know everything about you, but I am absolutely sure that you have not come into contact with anyone. Where did you get this information? What is my name, or the reincarnation I you just mentioned, these are not things you should know, are you? The huge fox head of Kayubi was slightly bent down, and its pair of fox eyes were staring at Menma. Shish, here are the forbidden items. As I said before, nine llamas, I don't need you to trust me. You can just treat this as a game in your boring life. Even if I fail, you will completely you can start over, the worst case is to spend some time to resurrect, no matter how bad it is, the situation will remain the same, I am just a qualified trading partner for you, Nine Lama, when it is time to tell you, I will naturally tell you, but not now. Menma stretched out his index finger and put it on his mouth, looking at Kayubi with clear eyes and the words he said with a chuckle. Next moment. Before Kayubi could say anything else, the spirit body dispersed on its own initiative. You kid. Kayubi was startled for a moment, but in less than a second, Menma's mental body completely disappeared after the huge forelimb was raised. Are they those two boys? Or should it just be you, old man? Single quote. Kayubi's forelimbs were subconsciously clenched into fists, and a rare trace of reminiscence appeared in those fox eyes. Menma's consciousness completely returned to the real world. When he thought that he could finally leave this disgusting village, Menma couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth slightly. The time is set. The foothold is determined. All you have to do is wait. And through this battle, Menma has a clearer and deeper grasp of the Nine Tails Chakra, and he seems to vaguely feel that his personal strength has also made a breakthrough. The Tailed Beast Chakra's body transformation of the Jinchuriki is also moisturizing and silent. Saw. From now on I just need to be a spectator with peace of mind. Single quote. Looking at the direction where Orochimaru was retreating. Menma smiled softly, then straightened up and headed back towards the way he came. The battle with Orochimaru and the subsequent conversation only took a few dozen minutes of Menma's time. When Menma returned to the area where Orochimaru played with Nazu and the others, the two figures fell to the ground unconscious. It has disappeared. Menma was not surprised. He spread out his perception and examined it carefully. Is it at 8 o'clock? Menma also accurately locked the specific position. The chakra on the soles of his feet exploded, and he flew forward quickly. Who? Menma didn't hide his figure deliberately and just arrived at the close point. In a location outside a tree hole, Sakura, who was already a little bit nervous, suddenly became alert, with a posture of alertness all over her body. But only after a second. The moment he saw Menma's figure. It's me, Sakura. A look of joy appeared on Sakura's face. Menma-kun. The previous battle really had a great psychological impact on Sakura. Orochimaru's power, as well as the subsequent scenes of Sasuke and Naruto falling into comas, all clouded Sakura's mind. There was a thick layer of haze. While reluctantly moving the two of them to this seemingly relatively safe tree hole. Sakura was always worried for fear of encountering a stronger enemy again. At that moment, Sakura was really desperate, and she even regretted that she should have given up decisively before the test and let Menma be with Naruto and Sasuke. In that case, the result might not be the current one. Now at the moment when I saw Menma, the joy in my heart is self-evident, and there is also a feeling of relief. As long as Menma is there, all problems will no longer be a problem. But it was only a few seconds later. However, Sakura immediately became nervous again, holding a kanai in one hand and directly assuming a defensive posture. Are you really Menma? After all, it's not time to just graduate. After nearly half a year of hard work, even Sakura has grown up mentally to a certain extent. This is the venue for the Chunin examination. It's not clear whether the person coming here is an enemy or a companion. During this period of time, Although Kakashi saw Sakura's chakra control ability and intended to guide Sakura to develop towards Genjutsu or Medical Ninja, 
Firstly, there was not enough time, and secondly, Kakashi was not interested in either of these areas. The professional users at most taught Sakura some basic aspects. Sakura is still in the initial stage of learning. She can't tell whether the menma in front of her is the real person. Now Sakura has completely tensed her nerves. Ha, huh, of course I am Menma, Sakura, do you still remember the extra income I gave you? Menma also reacted after being stunned for a moment, and blurted out the information that only a few people in their team knew. When I heard Menma's words, Sakura really relaxed this time, and said with an expression as if she was about to cry, Menma, it's really you, Naruto and Sasuke, they all. Well, it's okay, Sakura. Naruto and Sasuke just passed out. They should wake up after a while. Don't worry, tell me what happened first. What kind of enemy did you encounter? Yet. Menma strode to Naruto and Sasuke's side. After pretending to check, he also looked at Sakura with a frown and asked. Well, here's the thing, Menma. After all, Menma still has a certain degree of prestige among the four members of Team 7. This is a result of Menma's decisiveness and strength during the execution of many missions in the past half year or so, let alone Sakura. Well, even Nazuo and the two of them subconsciously obeyed Menma's instructions many times. In today's situation, Menma's arrival also relieved Sakura's inner panic and worry to a great extent. Sakura, who gradually calmed down, also told Menma about the encounter between the three of them with Orochimaru. Of course, because of what happened later there is a temporary separation. Some content is missing in the middle. Sakura just said that when he found Naruto and Sasuke again, they were already in a coma, and there was such a strange thing on Sasuke's neck. Is that so? This symbol should be a special sealing technique. I can't tell what it is specifically. I can only wait until I pass this test and then let Mr. Kakashi take a look. Quote. Menma listened and pretended to think for a while, then nodded and said. Yeah, yeah, Sakura, who was at a loss just now and had always been frightened, felt completely relieved after Menma arrived. As long as Menma was by her side, there was no need to worry about any problems happening again. Naturally, whatever Menma said, it was. You stay here and guard the two of them. I'll go set some traps around and get some food back. It doesn't matter. Everything will be fine whether it's Naruto and Sasuke or the exam. Menma looked at Haruno Sakura and said softly. Yeah, I understand, Menma. Sakura nodded in response. Following from that, Menma straightened up and left the spot. Sakura, on the other hand, returned to the outside of the tree hole to guard Naru and Zuo, who were still in a coma. Not to mention Menma and others who were temporarily stopped in the area on one side of the death forest. The 21 ninjas from different ninja villages who entered the largest and most special training ground in Konoha Hidden Village also started the most brutal fight on the first day. After all, the content of this second round of assessment requires that each team must collect the scrolls of heaven and earth before they can pass. Although there is an extra team like Menma acting alone. But in such a huge forest of death, the number of heaven and earth scrolls is only 11 each. Even if everything is such a coincidence, only 11 teams can pass the second round of assessment. In fact, in the end, they can the number of teams that pass the assessment must be less than this number. In the original book, there were 26 teams that entered the second round of assessment, but in the end only 6 teams were able to successfully complete the assessment. The passing rate is not even a quarter. This life is obviously no exception. The noise of the outside world and the fighting between various ninjas. Menma didn't take it to heart at all. For him, his true intention of participating in the Chunin examination had been realized. He only needed to follow the established script for the rest of the matter. Just as Menma himself expected. After being in a coma for several hours, Naruto woke up before Sasuke. The moment he opened his eyes, Naruto immediately jumped up after the initial days. The straight fighting posture. And just a second later. You're awake. Naruto, when he heard a clear voice and saw Menma's familiar figure, Naruto's tense body finally relaxed. It's Menma, when did you find us, E.H.? And where's Sakura? Naruto exhaled a breath of turbid air, looked at Menma with a smile and asked. Sakura is preparing food outside, but you, are you feeling okay now? Menma pointed to Sakura who was setting up a pot and making a fire outside, and said with a faint smile. Me. 
It's just that the back of my head still hurts a little, but there's nothing else. E.H. By the way, was that gloomy and terrifying Kusanagi defeated by you? Menma. Hearing Menma's words, Naruto felt the pain as if he could feel it now, and touched the back of his head that had been hit hard before, and he looked a little grinning. Then he seemed to remember something, stared at Menma with his eyes wide open and said. No, I didn't see the Kusanagi who defeated you too. When I found you, you two were already in a coma. Sakura told me about that Kusanagi, but your scrolls were not taken away. Menma shook his head and said. Is that so? Then what exactly was the intention of this Kusanagi? In the end, he even let Sasuke and I go. I don't understand. Naruto also frowned, revealing a puzzled look. Forget it, there is no point in thinking about this now. You can tell Kakashi later. The most important thing now is that you two should rest well first and then pass the second round of assessment. Menma said softly. Yeah, you're right, Menma. After being stunned for a moment, Naruto nodded slightly and said. At this moment, Sakura outside also noticed that Naruto had woken up and walked over with a smile on his face, carrying a bowl of fish soup. In Sakura's opinion, since Naruto has woken up, Sasuke should be almost there too. Naruto, here. Oh, thank you, Sakura. I happen to be hungry too. Smelling the fragrant and rich fish soup, Naruto's stomach growled unsatisfactorily, and he quickly took it and started to devour it. Sakura's gaze shifted directly to Sasuke. After seeing that Sasuke still didn't seem to have any intention of waking up, she turned to look at Menma and asked with a hint of worry, Menma, Sasuke hasn't woken up yet. Is there any problem with this? Don't worry, Sakura, there won't be any problem. Look, hasn't Naruto woke up already? The most we can do is wait a little longer. Menma replied softly. That's right, Sakura, you don't have to worry, that guy Sasuke. Naruto, who was sitting cross-legged on the ground, was sipping fish soup and eating fish meat, while echoing Menma in a confused tone. But the words haven't been finished yet. Buzz. Suddenly. A surge of chakra energy burst out from the sleeping Sasuke. What? This is. This attracted the attention of three people directly. Menma's eyes narrowed when he saw that Sasuke's body seemed to be covered with a layer of extremely rich black chakra swirling outwards. Naruto and Sakura both showed a look of surprise. The power of the curse seal. This seems to be a special form of natural energy. Single quote. Menma, who is familiar with the plot, certainly knows where Orochimaru's curse seal comes from. Although it looks very evil and dark, the energy absorbed by Jugo is the actual native natural energy of this planet, and the mode he has entered is also a special kind of immortal transformation. It's just that Zongwu obviously can't control this power. It's easy to go berserk. Orochimaru's curse seal comes from a power gained from studying Jugo. Although it is said that Orochimaru can use this method to engrave his own chakra and soul imprint into the body of the person who has been cursed by him, and then use this method to resurrect himself, but it is indeed possible for the person who has been cursed to do so. The person with the curse seal brings certain benefits. For those who can adapt to the curse seal, their bodies will slowly be transformed. The power obtained is also real. Of course, there is a premise here, that is, it cannot be controlled by the curse seal. This special natural energy can obviously arouse the most primitive desires deep in the human heart. Obviously, the second pillar at this moment has a tendency to be controlled by this force. The curse marks spread all over the body very quickly. Sasuke what happened? Menma, the momentum is getting stronger and stronger, and the appearance is getting weirder and weirder. Naruto and Sakura couldn't understand it at all. Both of them looked at Menma subconsciously. And at this moment, Sasuke, who had his eyes closed before, suddenly opened his eyes, and the scarlet Sharingan appeared in his pupils. Sasuke-kun. When I saw this scene, Sakura also suddenly showed a happy expression. Subconsciously, I wanted to move forward and get closer to the past. But when Sasuke stood up and met his eyes, he saw the extremely cold look in Sasuke's pupils. Sakura couldn't help but shudder. At this moment, a feeling of coldness filled the space. Naruto's expression also became extremely serious. Sasuke, what exactly is your situation now? Do you still have sense? Menma frowned and asked in a deep voice. What kind of situation? That is of course a very good situation. I have never had such a great feeling. 
Menma, sanity, ha ha, of course there is sanity. Where is that grass ninja? Menma, were you repelled? Quote. Sasuke's eyes shifted to Menma, and the low and cold laughter seemed to make the temperature around him drop suddenly. Those extremely scarlet eyes looked straight at Menma. The surging fighting spirit emerged. The meaning revealed by this red fruit. Anyone who is not a fool can see it. Seeing Sasuke in such a posture, Menma had only one thought in his heart at the moment. The sky cleared and the rain stopped. Urzuzi feels that he can do it again. This was Menma's first reaction. The power brought by the curse seal instantly boosted the second young master of the Uchiha family's self-confidence. At this moment, he seemed to feel that he had become invincible. The Magatama slowly turning in his pupil's Sharingan. It's so awe-inspiring, so terrifying. No, when I arrived, the grass ninja was gone, so. Menma looked at Sasuke calmly and said. He's missing, then go find him. He actually dares to target our seventh class. This shame must be avenged. Sasuke coldly interrupted Menma's words, and the terrifying chakra aura further exploded. At this moment, it is obvious that Sasuke's mind has been eroded and affected by the power of the curse seal. This further magnified the negative emotions in his heart. Personal desires were also magnified to the extreme. The proud Uchiha would not tolerate insults. Whoever hit him in the face, he, Uchiha Sasuke, would get back at him. The black and purple chakra that had become extremely dense swirled outward, becoming very evil. The expressions of Naruto and Sakura also changed. Sasuke, what's wrong with you? Me, I'm fine, Naruto, that guy beat us up so hard, don't you want to win back? We want. Sasuke's pupils revealed a hint of coldness, and the steps he took forward became more ferocious. Sasuke, I think you need to calm down. Menma's pupils also revealed a hint of sharpness, looking at Sasuke and said coldly. The child is not honest and obedient, what should I do? The old way, just beat him up. Menma's momentum was also released, and his energy was firmly locked on Sasuke's movements. Menma, you guys, Naruto and Sakura, who were standing next to him, were also shocked. Don't worry, Naruto, Sakura, Sasuke may be a little emotional now, I'll calm him down, calm him down. A hint of bloodthirstiness flashed in Menma's pupils. The shadow of fox eyes was faintly revealed. Ha ha, are you going to stop me, Menma? The momentum under the collision. Sasuke also smiled coldly. Boom, the chakra under his feet exploded. Swoosh. In an instant, he ran towards Menma, moving like thunder, which was already far faster than before. In the angle above the strong pressure, Menma didn't mean to be fancy at all. The Nine Tails chakra burst out directly. Of course, it was just a layer of red chakra coat on the coat, and even the tail didn't show up, but it was this terrifying chakra breath. Quote exclamation mark question mark quote. The moment it hit him, Sasuke's breathing suddenly stagnated, and his eyes widened, leaving no room for Sasuke to react. Swoosh, Menma took a step ahead and flashed directly to Sasuke's side angle. Bang, the fist hit Sasuke's abdomen heavily. Wow. Even if he controlled the strength a little, the power transmitted still made Sasuke's face change. The body curled up subconsciously. Menma didn't care. Menma, in the scream of Sakura on the side. Menma grabbed Sasuke's collar and threw him down fiercely. Bang, it landed heavily, accompanied by the dull sound of impact. Under the second injury, the pain spread all over his body, as if his body was about to fall apart. Sasuke couldn't help but groan in pain. Ha, huh. at that moment, Sasuke was completely suppressed by force. The next second, Menma came up and pressed down on Sasuke from above, leaning forward, and his pair of scarlet fox eyes looked directly into Sasuke's eyes. How is it? Are you calm, Sasuke? If it's not enough, I can help you again close-range pressure. This trembling feeling seemed to penetrate directly into the soul. Sasuke's pupils couldn't help but shrink suddenly. This feeling of chilling the heart, as if the body was completely frozen. At this moment, it was as if a basin of cold water was poured on Sasuke's heart in an instant, and the extremely restless heart before also cooled down at this moment. The rapid breathing also gradually calmed down. The cursed seal pattern slowly retreated, and the breath became stable visibly. The Sharingan in the pupil also closed. The pupil returned to black and white. Menma's expression relaxed. 
he loosened his right hand and stood up again. Sasuke also stood up at the same time, returning to his previous expressionless posture, but at this moment, whether it was Naruto or Sakura, they were really relieved, because the current Sasuke was the Sasuke they were familiar with. The two also approached quickly. Sasuke, it's right to desire power. Ninjas themselves must continue to become stronger and continue to climb up, but if they are controlled by power, it proves that your capacity is only this. Menma looked at Sasuke calmly, and said those words lightly. It also made Sasuke's face change, and after taking a deep breath, he nodded silently. Although he didn't say anything, with Sasuke's personality, such an action was infinitely close to admitting his mistake. Sasuke-kun, are you okay now? Sakura came closer, took out a handkerchief and gently wiped the sweat off Sasuke's forehead, saying with a touch of worry and heartache. Sasuke frowned subconsciously, but he rarely avoided her. He just shook his head with a cold face and said, I'm fine. This is clearly the familiar Sasuke. It also made Sakura's heart completely relaxed. It's getting late today, let's rest first. This is only the first day, there is no need to be too anxious. Your scrolls have not been taken away. After we are fully recovered, we will go to take the scrolls of other teams. Menma looked at the three people and said, Yeah. Oh, no problem. Sakura and Naruto also responded quickly. Sasuke on the left also nodded coldly. After a simple dinner, the group went to bed and rest. And at the same time, in the center of the death forest, there is the only central tower. Are you feeling okay, Red Bean? Sarutobi Hirazan, who arrived as soon as he received the message, looked at the pale Red Bean and asked with a solemn look. Yes, Lord Hokage, thank you for your concern. I am fine, and the curse seal has been suppressed again. No longer lively and cheerful as before. Now Red Bean is solemn and replied in a very weak tone. Just like in the original plot, when Red Bean entered the Death Forest to search for the traces of her former mentor, Orochimaru also appeared as she wished, without any real action. It was the stimulation of words alone, and the power of the curse seal, which made Red Bean, a special senior ninja, completely lose the ability to resist. It must be said that Red Bean still has a certain status in Orochimaru's heart. Otherwise, with Orochimaru's power, how could she meet Orochimaru if she didn't want to be discovered by Red Bean? In the end, she still didn't do anything ruthless, which is the most direct proof. After all, to be honest, Red Bean is the only disciple of Orochimaru. That's good. You should have a good rest next. The assessment will be handled by other examiners for the time being. Sarutobi Hirazan also nodded gently and said, No, I'm completely fine, Hokage-sama. As for Orochimaru, Red Bean, what you need now is a good rest. You don't need to worry about the rest. I will arrange everything, don't worry. Sarutobi Hirazan gently waved his hand, interrupted Red Bean's words, and said in a deep voice, Ah, yes, I understand, Hokage-sama. Then, I'll be rude first. Red Bean was stunned. She didn't quite understand what her Hokage meant. Isn't it a very dangerous thing for Orochimaru to return to Konoha? But only a second later, Red Bean bowed her head and replied. This is the order of the Hokage after all. You need to execute it even if you don't understand it. Yeah, after bowing to Serutobi Hirazan at the end, Red Bean turned around and left the office. Orochimaru, you actually chose to come back at this time. It seems that this should be the last meeting between our master and apprentice. This time, I will definitely not be the same as last time. Single quote. Serutobi Hirazan put his hands behind his back and looked at the completely dark night view outside the window. His slightly turbid pupils also showed an extremely sharp color. Under the calm surface, there is a dark tide that is constantly rolling up. In this largest ninja village in the ninja world, all forces have begun to stir. There was no talk all night. This slowly passing time, until the dawn of the next day. The light and shadow of dawn just shone on the earth. Menma and others also woke up one after another. After a night's rest, Naruto relied on part of his Uzumaki bloodline and basically recovered. Only the second pillar was still affected by the curse seal and looked more tired. But it would not affect normal actions and combat. When there is plenty of time. The four members of Team 7 also launched a blanket search for enemies in the surrounding area. Under Menma's deliberate guidance, in less than half a day, 
they found a group of people who were also from the Hidden Leaf Village. Senior Team, single quote, three strikes, five divided by two, easily defeated this team of seniors from the same village, and they were very lucky. The scroll carried by this senior team was exactly the scroll of Earth they needed. When mission critical items have been obtained, Menma, Sasuke and the others also flew towards the central tower in the center without making any stops. In just less than a few dozen minutes, the group of people arrived outside the tower. As the only building in this forest of death, the construction of this tall tower is still very eye-catching. In terms of infrastructure, Konoha is indeed worthy of the title of the number one ninja village in the ninja world. That guy didn't come. Is it because of my meeting with Orochimaru? It's a pity, I still plan to have close contact with that guy. Single quote. Looking at the tower that was already very close at hand. Menma was also moved in his heart, and the figure of Yakushi Kabuto flashed in his mind. To be honest, as a subordinate, Yakushi Kabuto is really outstanding, regardless of his combat power as a ninja, his level as a medical ninja, or his experiments. As his assistant, Kabuto Yakushi is definitely among the best in the ninja world. It's no wonder Orochimaru trusts Kabuto Yakushi the most. It can be said that in the force created by Orochimaru, Yakushi Kabuto's status is not low. Menma was naturally very interested in such an outstanding person. Unfortunately, I was not given such an opportunity in this life. It just has to be left to the future. Is this the end point of the second round of assessment? Ha, huh, why are there no examiners waiting for us? Enter from the main entrance of this central tower. I saw an extremely empty place inside. But there was no one around. Sakura also blinked and spoke with a hint of curiosity. Well, if there is no examiner, it should be related to our scroll. Menma also pretended to think for a moment, and then took out two scrolls directly from his arms. Oh, that's how it is. Naruto also took out two scrolls as if he suddenly realized it. Under their respective mergers, puff, a burst of white mist suddenly appeared. Quote exclamation mark question mark quote. E.H. This is, the next second, after the white mist dispersed, a familiar figure came into view among Menma and the others. Uruka sensei why is it you? Looking at Uruka appearing in front of him and others. Naruto also said with his eyes widened. Ha ha, that's because I am your herald. Uruka looked at Naruto, Menma and others who had successfully passed the second round of assessment, although each looked a little embarrassed. Uruka also had a look of relief on his face. Before, I was opposed to Menma and others taking the Chunin exam because I thought they were too immature. Now it seems that I still underestimated these students. Harold, ha, huh, what is that? Naruto, Sakura and others all looked confused. Of course it is. Uruka smiled softly. The next step was to give full play to his professional qualities as a teacher. He was very comprehensive and introduced in detail some of the key points in this exam to Menma and others, and more importantly, the position behind him. Chunin experience written by Sarutobi Hiruzen. When I read the original novel in my previous life, I didn't read the Menma section in detail. Now that I have listened carefully, I can't help but say that in this regard, Hiruzen Serutobi has always done a very good job, otherwise he would not have such great prestige in the Hidden Leaf Village. It is a pity that many times, he said if so, it is completely inconsistent with what you are doing. Hiruzen Serutobi in his youth and Hiruzen Serutobi in his old age are actually two people. So, if you want to become a qualified chunin, you still need to learn a lot. Don't be lax and arrogant. Uruka said with a smile. Oh, Uruka sensei. Yes, we understand, Uruka sensei. Sakura and Naruto also responded one after another. Okay, you guys look very tired, so I won't say anything more. Let's go to the special lounge first. Today is the second day of the assessment, and the final results will have to wait until tomorrow afternoon. Yes, different from the original work, you pass the second round of assessment at the last step. In this time and space, with Menma's presence, Team 7 is the first to pass the second round of assessment. This also gives Menma and others more time to rest. Menma knows very well that after the second round of assessment is over, they will because there are too many people, there will be another preliminaries directly before the main competition, in order to reduce the number of players in the main competition. After all, at that time, high-level nobles from various countries will come from afar to watch. 
Konoha must ensure the quality and quantity of the competition, and it is impossible to really extend the final round of competition too long. Keeping the number of people to no more than 10 is the most appropriate approach. If you encounter Gara, Shaoli and the others in the qualifiers, you need to be well prepared. Single quote. In the process of waiting, Menma was also thinking about what strategy he should adopt if he really encountered these two troublesome guys in the qualifiers. Although there was speculation in the previous life that the so-called fair and impartial electronic screen was controlled by Konoha's side. But be afraid of accidents in everything. At the critical moment of leaving Konoha Hidden Village, Menma was not willing to reveal too much. I don't want to be seriously injured. Gara, the Jinchuriki, and Li, who can open the five gates. Those are all things that Menma must be wary of now. You can't let too much Nine Tails Chakra explode by then, right? Therefore, some timely measures and preparations are necessary. However, Menma was obviously wasting his efforts. Because, in this life, there are no qualifiers before the main game. Ha, huh, time's up, are we going to go down and draw lots now to decide the order of appearances in the main game? On the afternoon of the third day, after the final time for the second round of exams was due. A Konoha Chunin who served as an examiner also came to the room where Menma and others rested, and conveyed corresponding instructions to Menma and others. When they heard that they were going directly to draw lots to determine their opponents in the main match, instead of starting a qualifier. Menma was stunned subconsciously. However, Menma knew the reason in the next second. Well, the time for the second round of assessment has just ended. Currently, the total number of people who have passed the second round of assessment is four, oh, it should be said that there are three teams. As I said just now, the main competition is a single duel. The knockout format will be in one month, and you need to decide now on the list of duels. The examiner also gave a very formulaic reply. Three teams. If Menma remembers correctly, were there five teams in the original book, or were six teams passing the assessment? Now cut off half of it. Only three left, but in this way, it is understandable that there is no qualifier. The three teams, even including their special seventh team of four, are ten people, which is one more than the number of people in the main competition in the original book. So the number of people is just right for the main stage. So few, only three teams, Naruto on the side also widened his eyes. It seems that there were 21 teams participating in the second round, but in the end only three teams passed the second round. Sakura also said with sadness in her heart. Only Sasuke still looked indifferent. Then if nothing else happens, the other two teams should be those two. Single quote. On the way to the hall where he came from before, Menma was also thinking silently in his heart. As expected, when entering the lobby, wherever you look, the six figures he saw. That's Gara's team and Neji's team. These two teams are indeed among the teams with the highest overall level in this Chunin exam. In the original book, Team Asuma, Team Yuhikuranai, the Sound Ninja team, and Kabuto Yakushi's team that passed the second round of assessment are all gradually in the second round this time. Menma and others appear. It also attracted the attention of Gara, Neji and others. The moment their eyes met. It can be clearly seen from Gara's suddenly focused eyes and Neji's extremely scrutinizing eyes. Two teams from Konoha Hidden Village and one team from Sunagakar Village. This is also not much different from the prediction at the beginning of the game. Originally, the so-called Chunin exam was for each of the five major ninja villages to show off their muscles. It was also because there was no qualifying round this time, there were not many Junin present at the scene, and Sarutobi Hiruzen also did not show up. There was only one main examiner, Moonlight Hayate, who appeared in front of three teams of ten people with several examiners. Ahem, first of all, congratulations. Ahem, you three teams passed, the second round of assessment. I am your third round, main examiner. Ahem, the rules of the competition. Ahem, I guess I didn't want to give it up. People, ahem, you can bring it up now. Ahem. Moonlight Hayate looked like he was in the advanced stage of lung cancer, and his coughing posture made people wonder if this guy would just cough his lungs out. After Yu Guangfang said these words, he paused for a while. After seeing that no one of the ten people lined up below made a sound. Then, ahem, let's start drawing lots. Moonlight Gale nodded, 
motioned to a subordinate on the side to take out a cardboard box, and then drew lots for the ten people below. Ten lottery numbers, corresponding in pairs. And because there are no qualifiers, the order of the draw for the main draw is also very different. The lottery numbers drawn by each of them. The moment the final results are announced. Menma's pupils also showed a hint of surprise. Because in the second duel, it is clearly written that Gara versus Namikaze Naruto. What is written in the first scene is Uchiha Sasuke versus Hayuga Neji. A direct exchange of opponents between the four. Others didn't feel anything at all, but Menma just felt a little strange. Is this also destiny? Single quote. Menma thought a little funny. As for Menma himself, he was drawn with the fifth pick, which was the last one to appear. His opponent was Rock Lee, whom Menma always needed to feel a headache for. As mentioned before, without using the Nine Tails Chakra in the case of the current Menma could not possibly be Rock Lee's opponent. How strong Shao Li is after opening the five doors can be seen in the original work. Not even a Junin could match him. Of course, during this period, Shao Li's body could not afford to open five doors. From a purely physical perspective, four doors was Shao Li's current limit. But even a four door, it is difficult to say that Menma can face it head on. Not to mention, the speed alone is not something that the current Menma can compare to. However, in this assessment, Menma does not need to worry about this aspect. This is not only because it doesn't matter if he loses directly, but also because he most likely does not need to appear. Because their duel is in the last game. As long as Suna Ninja's plan remains unchanged. In the second matchup, Gara will directly transform into a tailed beast during the duel. The Konoha Collapse plan will be officially launched, where will it be their turn to appear? The same goes for Tenten vs. Tamari in the third game, and Sakura vs. Konkuro in the fourth game. Others don't know. Menma knew very well that the key to the main match this time was Gara vs. Naruto in the second match. The above is the list of opponents for the main competition. Ahem. Next, you, ahem, have a month to prepare. When the time comes, I hope you, can all bring, a wonderful match. Moonlight Gale glanced at the faces of each person below one by one, still speaking in that extremely weak tone. And that was the moment when the list of opponents was announced. The ten boys and girls below all locked onto each other's opponents. Especially Gara, who looked at Naruto with a ferocious look in his eyes, as if he wanted to fight right here. Tamari and Konkuro on the side both showed a very nervous look in their pupils. Naruto didn't have any idea, he just thought it was a good thing to fight with ninjas from other villages, not to mention that they had interacted with each other some time ago and were identified by Naruto as strong opponents. Naruto's heart was already eager to try. Lee also looked at Menma with shining eyes. Before, the person he always wanted to defeat was Neji. Now Menma is also within the sniper range, after all, he can suppress Uchiha and the son of the Hokage to get the first place in this graduating class. Just now, I heard from my teacher that Menma entered the Death Forest alone as a team. This courage, this strength. Oh, my youth is about to burn. Single quote. The blazing sight is like a, rising flame, that can be seen by the naked eye. Menma also shook his head helplessly in his heart. In other words, they would not encounter him under normal circumstances. Otherwise, Menma would have a headache just thinking about it. There is no objection among all. Moonlight Hayate also emphasized the rules of the main competition at the end and asked Menma and others to disband. As soon as the group left the Forest of Death, they saw Kakashi smiling and waving to them at the exit. Oh, brother Kakashi, did you see that we have all entered the final round of the main competition? Naruto also raised his head and chest, and said with a very proud expression. Haha, of course I believe you can do this. Otherwise, why would I recommend you to take part in this Chunin exam? Kakashi said with a smile. As he spoke, he glanced at Sasuke as if casually, but neither Naruto nor Sakura noticed. But he couldn't escape his numb eyes. He also knew very well that this was because Kakashi was worried about the curse mark on Sasuke's neck. After they arrived at the tower yesterday, Kakashi appeared once. When he heard that a special mark appeared on the neck of the second pillar, Kakashi Kasi took Sasuke away with a serious face. Sakura and Naruto only thought that they were going for ordinary examination or treatment, but only Menma knew that with Konoha's current level, 
it was impossible to break that the curse seal specially carved by Orochimaru, at Kakashi's level, can only temporarily seal the leakage of the curse seal power, and this must rely on Sasuke's own willpower. Once Sasuke takes the initiative to crave this power, all seals are useless. Kakashi knows very well what kind of character Sasuke is. It is natural that he will be concerned and worried. It is impossible for Sakura and Naruto to know these things at present. Neither Kakashi nor Sasuke would take the initiative to tell them, and the only one who knew, Menma, would just treat it as unaware. Hey, brother Kakashi, shouldn't you say something to celebrate that all of us have entered the final round? Naruto came closer, looked at Kakashi with a smile and said. Haha, you, of course there is no problem. Today you can eat and drink freely. This is a celebration and a reward. Kakashi said, patting Naruto's little head in a funny way. Great, this is what you said, so I won't be polite today, brother Kakashi. Naruto shouted with a happy expression on his face. Yeah, that's what I said. When Kakashi saw that Sasuke still had his usual cold expression, there was no special change, and he felt much more relaxed inside. Haha, then you have to be prepared, brother Kakashi, you can do that, right? Sakura, Menma, Sasuke. Naruto also couldn't wait to turn his head and look at his three teammates and said. Um, snort, Sakura and Sasuke also replied one after another. Menma, who was in the back seat, also nodded lightly with a faint smile. This seems to be a very harmonious scene, but others didn't notice that there was a crack that completely separated them. Yoshi, let's go then. Naruto's familiar loud voice fell here. The setting sun, the elongated shadow of the house, and the five people walking side by side, but at this moment, Kakashi, Naruto, and Sakura couldn't realize that this might be their seventh team. The last group activity. This may not be called a false friendship, but in Menma's opinion, it is a meaningless and empty bond. Be it Sakura or Kakashi. Beneath Menma's fake smile, there was no place in his heart. The same goes for Naruto. They are just related by blood. Unlike Minato and Kashina, who had given him life in this life, let alone this so-called younger brother, he was destined to be his enemy in the future. After that night in the land of waves, Menma has completely separated him from these people in his heart. Only Sasuke will be slightly different, but the future still depends on the choices between them. It is impossible to make a decision now. After finishing this so-called reward banquet with a false gentle attitude, Menma returned to his residence and welcomed a special guest. Humph, since we're already here, why bother hiding aside? In Menma's opinion, this was a clear chakra fluctuation like a bright light in the dark night. Almost the moment he approached his home, Menma detected the aura of the visitor. Yeah, 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 it seems that Orochimaru-sama really didn't overestimate you. Menma-kun, you are only 12 years old, and you can have such a perception. Is this also the power of the Nine Tails? Or is it Menma? What are your abilities as a member of the Uzumaki clan? At the end of the corridor. At first glance, there was no one in the dark corner. Just as these words fell, a straight figure appeared in Menma's eyes. Silver hair, black-rimmed glasses. And that familiar fake smile. This figure is none other than Orochimaru's right-hand man, Kabuto Yakushi. Ha, huh, Konoha's forehead protector, and Orochimaru San's aura. Oh, it seems that you are a spy specially arranged by Orochimaru San in Konoha, right? Menma looked at Yakushi Kabuto indifferently with a look of scrutiny, and there was a sharp look in his pupils. The moment Yakushi Kabuto met Menma's eyes, his heart couldn't help but tighten. It felt like I was being targeted by something very dangerous. Originally, Kabuto Yakushi had become extremely curious about Menma when he received the order from his own lord Orochimaru. As the top person in charge of Orochimaru's external affairs, Kabuto Yakushi knew 100% about Menma's situation, and it was more or less understanding of such a key part. He really didn't expect that such a young man who clearly seemed to have fully accepted Konoha's education would have such a big change at this stage. He even dared to meet with their lord Orochimaru alone, and also proposed to leave Konoha and cooperate with their Lord Orochimaru. It's not that I don't believe in my own Lord Orochimaru. It's just a simple human characteristic. Before you see it with your own eyes, you will have some doubts. But now it seems, just such a brief contact. Yakushi Kabuto could tell that the Uzumaki Menma-kun in front of him was definitely not a good person. 
Yes, as you said, Menmakun, I am a spy under Lord Orochimaru. My name is Yakushi Kabuto. I will ask Menmakun for your advice in the future. Kabuto Yakushi bowed slightly and smiled. Let's forget about the polite words. Orochimaru-san sent you to see me, shouldn't it just be to say hello? Just say it directly, don't waste time, this is Konoha after all. Menma also deliberately looked at Yakushi Kabuto with a cold and impatient expression. Haha, it seems that Menma-kun is still impatient. My goal here is very simple, that is, on behalf of Lord Orochimaru, I invite Menma-kun to officially join our plan. I don't know what you think, Menma-kun. How is it? Kabuto Yakushi still looked at Menma with his fake smile. These softly spoken words, Menma looked calm, but actually he was shocked inside. Plan, what plan? With such hidden words, do you still want to play guessing games with me? Menma deliberately frowned and looked at Yakushi Kabuto with a very dissatisfied expression, as the bits and pieces of Nine Tails chakra gradually emitted. When it spreads, Kabuto the pharmacist in the opposite position was also shocked. I'm rude. Just as Menma-kun said to Orochimaru-sama before, Orochimaru-sama came back this time not to reminisce with people from the past, but to come back to destroy Konoha. Menma-kun is not right. Has Konoha held a grudge for a long time? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Kabuto Yakushi looked directly into Menma's pupils and spoke word by word. Even if it is expected. But the moment I actually heard it from Kabuto Yakushi. Menma still couldn't restrain the shock in his heart, and his pupils suddenly shrank subconsciously. What did you say? Destroy Konoha. Menma's eyes became sharper than ever at this moment. Yes, it is to destroy Konoha. This is Lord Orochimaru's true intention of returning to Konoha this time. Kabuto the pharmacist replied with a smile. How about it, Menma-kun? For you, this should be something you want to do, right? Words of second confirmation. It also made Menma's expression become cloudy and uncertain. As a time traveler, Menma was certainly aware of Konoha's plan to collapse, but what he didn't know was why Orochimaru invited him. Still at such a slightly delicate time point. However, this doubt only occurred after a moment. Menma realized that from the moment he took the initiative to deal with Orochimaru and exposed his intention, he and Orochimaru were already on the same dangerous road. On. It should be a natural thing for people to invite themselves to participate in Konoha's collapse plan. Indeed, I am also very interested in destroying Konoha, but this does not mean that I look down on Orochimaru-san. Although Konoha has been declining over the years, Jiraiya and Tsunade are not in the village, but a skinny camel is still bigger than a horse. As far as I know, it has only been a little more than 10 years since Orochimaru-san defected from Konoha, right? It's enough power and power to destroy Konoha, Haha, ha, I really don't believe it. Menma quickly collected his emotions, raised his eyebrows, and deliberately looked at Yakushi Kabuto with a very obvious look of distrust. Knowing is one thing, but how to say it is another. Menma definitely wants to test Orochimaru's true intention here. Haha, ha, Menma-kun's worries are not a problem. Since Menma-kun has already fought against Orochimaru-sama in person, he should know the strength of Orochimaru-sama. Over the years, the strength of the forces under Orochimaru-sama has grown, and it will definitely exceed your expectations, Menma-kun, and the most important thing is that we have a more powerful ally, which is Sunagakur village, which is also one of the five great ninja villages. How about it, Menma-kun, this kind of combat power configuration should be enough to destroy Konoha, right? Kabuto Yakushi pushed up his black-rimmed glasses and looked at Menma with a somewhat complacent look and asked. Sunagakur village, that is indeed a big deal, but I still have a doubt, how will you do it then? Others don't know the background of Konoha Hidden Village. Orochimaru-san, as one of the former high-level officials, is the direct disciple of Serutobi Hiruzen, and should know very well that the number of active ninjas far exceeds that of any other ninja village. Even though most of the ninjas are scattered in various garrison points across the country, or are performing tasks outside, but those who remain there are definitely thousands of ninjas in the village. Menma's eyes looked a little aggressive at this moment as he looked at Yakushi Kabuto. Even with the assistance of Sunagakur village, how many troops can Sunagakur village send to the outskirts of Konoha Hidden Village? If the number is too small, it is meaningless. If there are too many troops, are you trying to defend the border? Do those Konoha ninjas think they are blind? 
Or is Orochimaru San just launching a surprise attack on the border? Quote, in the Konoha collapse plan in the original book, there is no accurate number of how many ninjas the Sound Ninja and the Sand Ninja dispatched. In fact, there is also a big bug in it. The question is how did these Sound Ninja and Sand Ninja get around? Pass the detection of the ninjas guarding Konoha's border, and you can also sneak all the way into locations near Konoha. Launch a surprise attack directly on the day of the Chunin exam. If Konoha's defense force at the border was so weak and unbearable, Konoha would have been destroyed countless times. Although Menma himself had some speculations in his heart, here, it was the most reasonable way to put it out in the open and ask. He needed Orochimaru's help, but again, he reached a deal with Orochimaru as a collaborator, instead of surrendering to Orochimaru and obeying his orders as his subordinate. There is the most important thing in this. Essential difference. Of course it's okay if Orochimaru doesn't mention it, but when he proposed the Konoha collapse plan, Menma naturally wanted to question him to the end. Menma-kun, you are really cautious and meticulous. Kabuto Yakushi's expression couldn't help but froze when he heard Menma's words. There was also a strange look in his eyes when he looked at Menma. After all, Menma's behavior doesn't look like that of a 12-year-old boy. Without this caution, do you think I could survive until now? Do song. Menma raised his eyes and said with a hint of sarcasm. Then it seems that we really need to let Menma Kun know more. It's very simple. We have the ability to hide the garrison at the border of Konoha and allow the Sound Ninja and Suna Ninja troops to sneak into Konoha within the designated time. In the suburbs, since we want to destroy Konoha, we must target Konoha itself. Quote. Kabuto Yakushi said with a slight smile. Of course, it is impossible to enter with a large force, but an elite force of more than a thousand people can do it. Just as Menma Kun said, Lord Orochimaru was a high-ranking official in Konoha Hidden Village. People like me are here. There are countless spies, and there are even higher-ranking beings who belong to Lord Orochimaru, and these people are all the assistants of Lord Orochimaru. Also, you should have met Gara Kun and Menma Kun from Sunagakur Village. Let me tell you directly. That person is also the key to this plan. He is from Sunagakur village. One tail Jinchuriki. What does this mean, Menma Kun? You should know it best, right? In addition, this news has not been announced yet, but on the day of the Chunin exam, Master Case Cage from Sunagakur village will also come. Participate, and when the time comes, I will take action together with Lord Orochimaru. I wonder if such a fighting power is enough in Menma Kun's eyes. A bright color appeared in Yakushi Kabuto's eyes at this moment. One tail Jinchuriki, an elite force with someone to cover it, and the case cage. Indeed, such a force is enough. It seems that Orochimaru san has been preparing for a long time. Menma said with a cold smile. The combat configuration is exactly the same as in the original plot. According to the plan of both the Sound Ninja and the Suna Ninja, Gara was first allowed to directly transform into a tailed beast in the core area of Konoha Hidden Village, and then the fourth case cage Rasa and Orochimaru teamed up to deal with the third Hokage, with elite troops prepared outside, raided Konoha Hidden Village at the same time, since Konoha Hidden Village now lacks high-end combat power. The destructive power a one-tailed Shukaku can bring is unparalleled. Then the two cage level team-ups can theoretically suppress the aging third Hokage. If the third Hokage can be killed quickly, the plan to collapse Konoha will definitely succeed. Whether it can destroy Konoha is another matter, but severely damaging Konoha is no problem at all. Don't forget, there is an old silver coin in Konoha Hidden Village who would choose to sit back and watch. Kabuto Yakushi didn't say anything clearly. There is no clear explanation in the original work. But Menma can definitely guess who will be Orochimaru's biggest internal helper. Apart from Shimura Danzo, there is no one else, and he is the only one who can help Sound Ninja and Suna Ninja escape from the border guards of Konoha Hidden Village, defense and detection. He was the only one who wanted to see Serutobi Hiruzen die the most. Almost most of the so-called strongest defenses are often broken from within. In the original work, it was precisely because Gara failed to transform into a tailed beast in the Hidden Leaf Village, and was later defeated by Naruto himself, and the fourth case cage Rasa probably regretted cooperating with Orochimaru because it was over. Orochimaru was forced to kill Rasa, and he pretended to be the fourth case cage to continue advancing the plan. 
The lack of combat power in these two key points caused the failure of the entire plan. And in this life, Rasa will most likely be killed by Orochimaru. This was something that Menma could not interfere with, and from Menma's perspective, Rasa had to be killed. After all, if this fourth case cage was really alive and kicking, he unilaterally cancelled the plan to attack Konoha. It is impossible for the sound ninja side led by Orochimaru alone to set off the plan to collapse Konoha. Menma's own escape plan was also going to be hindered. Therefore, if Luo Sha really regrets it, then he must die. As for Gara, it depends on the situation at hand, and now Orochimaru has hit Menma's head again. How's it going, Menma kun? Can you give me your answer? Do you want to join our Orochimaru sama's plan? This is the best opportunity for you to vent your grievances over the years. Kabuto the pharmacist looked at Menma and asked with a smile. Facing Yakushi Kabuto's gesture, Menma's expression became very grim. This is an invitation. It is also a kind of temptation. Although the previous transactions were enough to show Menma's current attitude towards Konoha Hidden Village, in the end they were just words, and the most important actions were not visible at all. Orochimaru also thought more after returning, and felt that inviting Menma to join this Konoha collapse plan would be of great benefit, not only to the plan itself, but also to Menma. Menma could also smell the special smell inside. He is truly worthy of being the biggest boss level figure in the early stage. Single quote. After Menma sighed in his heart, the next second, he looked directly at Yakushi Kabuto, smiled softly and said, Since Orochimaru-san has been so well prepared, if I don't participate, then it will be I feel sorry for myself, but my ugly words are ahead. I will only take action after seeing Konoha fall into chaos. If your attack is suppressed from the beginning, or even deceives me, it doesn't matter. If you have this kind of fighting power, then I'm sorry, I won't play with fire with you. Before leaving, leave a little, special gift, for Konoha. Not to mention, after Orochimaru sent Yakushi Kabuto to send such an invitation to Menma, the desire in Menma's heart spread and grew rapidly like spring grass. Don't talk to Menma about justice and innocence. In such a world, these words are luxuries. If it were the previous Menma, he might have hesitated or rejected Orochimaru's invitation, because he still had the filters of his previous life and the ordinary thoughts of his previous life, but now he was different. Menma has fully integrated into this world. I won't care about these small problems. He only cares about himself and those who are truly willing to care about him and stand side by side with him. Apart from that, everything else is meaningless. Therefore, Menma accepted Orochimaru's invitation without any extra hesitation. After hearing Menma's answer, the smile on his face became much more intense. This was the answer he wanted to hear the most, and it was also the answer he could have expected from the beginning. Since they were allies with their own Lord Orochimaru, and they still had resentment towards Konoha, it was basically impossible to refuse this invitation. This was the opinion of Yakushi Kabuto. I knew that Menma kun would definitely not refuse. Then this is the basic arrangement in the plan. Menma kun can take a look at it first. Of course, this is just a contingency plan. After all, there is still a full month before the plan is implemented, and it may change at any time. However, as long as there is a change, I will contact Menma kun at any time. Yakushi Kabuto said with a smile, while taking out a scroll from his arms, flicking it lightly, and throwing it towards Menma's position. Menma caught it with his backhand. Haha, anyway, I still say the same thing. I will only take action according to the situation. You should personally tell this to Orochimaru-san. Menma said calmly. Of course, then, I will not bother Menma kun. Sorry for the impoliteness. After a slight bow, Kabuto Yakushi greeted him. Swoosh. With a flash of his figure, he also blended into the thick night and disappeared directly. Just a few seconds later, Kabuto Yakushi was completely out of Menma's perception. Chapter 71 Menma looked at the direction where Yakushi Kabuto left, and a solemn look appeared in his pupils. Then, after opening the door and returning to the room, Menma came to the table and opened that he received a copy of the scroll that Yakushi Kabuto threw to him. The above is indeed an overview of the joint combat plan of the Sound Ninja and Suna Ninja. Including but not limited to the cooperation between Rasa and Orochimaru, Gara's complete tail beast transformation, and the timing of the surprise attack of the elite troops of Suna Ninja and Sound Ninja who sneaked into a closed position. 
It can be said that this scroll completely records all the key points of Konoha's collapse plan. Is this really holding me back? Orochimaru-san. Single quote. A faint evil aura emerged between Menma's brows, and he whispered in his heart. An invitation that was unexpected. This was obviously beyond Menma's own plan. Originally, he planned to take advantage of the chaos and leave the hidden village of Konoha to watch the collapse of Konoha. Menma didn't care at all about who won and who lost, including Orochimaru. He wouldn't die so easily anyway. But now it seems that whether he is willing or not, he is going to join this feast. But that's okay, at least I can put on a good show before I leave. Single quote. Menma let out a breath of turbid air, looked at the dark night outside the window, and clenched his right hand slightly. At the same time, in a hidden area still some distance away from Konoha Hidden Village, Kabuto Yakushi, who had just left Menma, also appeared directly here. I found a deep entrance behind a pile of rocks with ease. Yakushi Kabuto, who stepped down without hesitation, also reached the lowest level directly. In the innermost room, there was only an oil lamp hanging in a dark room. Orochimaru is doing his research very seriously. The various human organs and limbs placed randomly on the experimental table, and the blood splattered everywhere. If ordinary people saw this scene, they would probably vomit out bile, but Yakushi Kabuto looked calm, like stepping forward. Scenes like this have become commonplace for Kabuto Yakushi in the past 10 years. After becoming Orochimaru's best assistant, he would see him once or twice every other day. This is Orochimaru's forbidden research on the human body, one of the most core projects in all research. In order to obtain more powerful power, even to obtain eternal life. Studying humans with different physiques is one of the best ways for Orochimaru to explore all of this. Kabuto Yakushi did not report immediately after entering this laboratory, because he knew very well that Orochimaru-sama hated being disturbed during experiments. At that moment, he also walked directly to Orochimaru. Opposite Maru, he performed the job of an assistant very skillfully. This experiment is completed one after another, until the final finishing work is completed. Orochimaru picked up the towel on the side and casually wiped the blood on his face and hands. Then his pair of narrow snake eyes looked directly at Yakushi Kabuto in the opposite position. Kabuto, how was it? How did it turn out? Yes, Lord Orochimaru, the Suna ninja have already confirmed for the second time that they will let the one tail riot occur at the designated time. In terms of troop allocation, they also promised to send thousands of elite troops to the designated area. They arrived at the corresponding location within time, but they still expressed doubts that we could ensure that their troops could successfully sneak into the suburbs of Konoha. After a slight pause, Yakushi Kabuto replied softly. Ha ha, the sand ninjas are still the same as before. Their backbones were completely broken more than 10 years ago, but it doesn't matter, as long as they can cooperate with the actions, you can also reveal a little bit when necessary. At some point, I will contact the fourth generation K's cage again. Orochimaru smiled softly, and a hint of sarcasm appeared in his extremely demonic pupils. In the Three Great Ninja Wars, Sand Hidden Village was the loser three times. It is precisely this defeat again and again that makes Sunagakur Village continue to weaken. When the five major ninja villages were first established, except for Konoha, which was the only one, the gap between the other four major ninja villages was really not big. Basically, it can be said to be between equals. But now, Sand Hidden Village has completely become the last place. As a former high-ranking official of Konoha and now an ally of Sunagakur Village, Orochimaru saw this very clearly. But Orochimaru doesn't care about this at all. If it is a strong ally, it will be a troublesome thing for Orochimaru. Otherwise, Orochimaru would not go to Sunagakur Village instead of Kumogakur or Iwagakur. After all, in terms of strength, these two ninja villages are the most suitable partners for cooperation. Especially Kumo Hidden Village, in recent years, it has shown the momentum to catch up with and even overtake Konoha Hidden Village. And this is one of the reasons why Orochimaru chose Sunagakur. Of course, at this time, Orochimaru could not have imagined that the Suna ninja's spinelessness would go further, and that the fourth case cage would give up at the last moment, even after negotiating and drafting a plan for several months. Yes, Lord Orochimaru. Kabuto Yakushi bowed and said in greeting. So, what about the other side? 
Has one of our allies also agreed to join the plan? Orochimaru looked at Yakushi Kabuto with a rare expression that was more serious than before. It seemed that in Orochimaru's eyes, Menma, an ally, was much more important than Suna Ninja. Of course, this is obviously based on Menma's potential and the huge benefits he is likely to bring to Orochimaru. If we just start from the Konoha Collapse plan itself, unless the current Menma can directly transform into a complete tailed beast, he can indeed completely overwhelm Sunagakur village as an ally. If it were just the previous performance of combat power, one face is not enough. As you expected, Orochimaru-sama, Menma-kun did not refuse our invitation, but he still has reservations. Ha, huh, keep it, let's talk about it. Yes, afterwards, Kabuto Yakushi conveyed his previous conversation with Menma to Orochimaru in a concise and concise manner. After listening, ha ha, this is also a normal judgment, but as long as he is willing to join in, it is enough. In the plan then, let this Menma-kun act with you, Kabuto, it will just cover that area. Shown in front of my beloved teacher, I can't wait to see what my Hokage teacher will look like when the time comes. Orochimaru stretched out his tongue, licked his lips, and smiled coldly. Yes, Lord Orochimaru. All forces gathered together. An undercurrent began to surge. The Hidden Leaf Village, which has been at peace for more than ten years, is about to face its own disaster once again. And that was when Orochimaru, Menma, and Sunagakur were communicating with each other, each preparing their own plans. The Konoha Hidden Village side was not completely unaware. Not to mention much, just Orochimaru's return after so many years is enough to make Konoha wary. This man who was once the pride of Konoha Hidden Village, no one would think that he came back just to hang out. Even if there is Sasuke's factor, from the perspective of Serutobi Hiruzen, his former love the disciple must also have a bigger conspiracy. Therefore, almost at the moment when the second round of the Chunin examination ended, the entire Hidden Leaf Village became loose on the outside and tight on the inside. Under the order of Serutobi Hiruzen, not only the general garrison troops, even the Anbu directly under the Hokage were on full alert, conducting 24-hour shifts of patrolling and exploration. Don't let go of any suspicious clues. However, it seemed that Orochimaru really just came back for Sasuke, and he disappeared completely after that day. But Serutobi Hiruzen still didn't dare to relax at all. Serutobi Hiruzen knows best how strong his disciple is, but he is no longer what he was back then. Many years ago, he was still barely at his peak and capable of killing Orochimaru, but now he may only be able to kill him. It was a gamble based on that taboo technique. This is a natural decline that cannot be reversed by human power. Do not forget, Serutobi Hiruzen is now 69 years old. The ninja's final peak period has long passed. He had to take the most cautious and safe approach. Based on this, Serutobi Hiruzen directly sent Anbu to recall another of his disciples. It was the famous Konoha hero, Jiraiya. And this one of the former Konoha Sanin also rushed back towards the location of his ninja village the moment he received the news from his teacher. Konoha Hidden Village, Hokage Building. Serutobi Hiruzen, who was immersed in handling government affairs, suddenly paused and put down the signature pen in his hand. His slightly cloudy pupils looked at the floor-to-ceiling windows beside him and said with a faint smile, I'll be back so soon. Okay, it seems you didn't delay on the road this time, Jiraiya. Falling words. Then a burly figure emerged. The waist-length white hair, the red marks under the eyes, and the bright, oil, word protector on the forehead. This figure is none other than Jiraiya, one of Serutobi Hiruzen's direct disciples. Haha, isn't this your own request, old man? Jiraiya straightened up, came directly in front of Serutobi Hiruzen, and said softly. As expected, you still care about Orochimaru. Serutobi Hiruzen looked at Jiraiya intently, and the words he spoke also made Jiraiya's face freeze. The next second, Jiraiya quickly adjusted and asked with a solemn look, Old man, are you really sure that Orochimaru is back? You don't need to doubt this. Jiraiya and Anko have already confirmed it. Naruto's team also encountered Orochimaru at the 44th training ground during the exam. If it's unexpected, it should be coming towards Sasuke. Serutobi Hiruzen shook his head slightly and said. In fact, Serutobi Hiruzen himself hoped that this was false news. For Orochimaru, 
a disciple, there is no doubt that Sarutobi Hiruzen had great expectations back then. If the fourth Hokage had to choose a person, if you want to inherit, Sarutobi Hiruzen definitely hopes to be Orochimaru. This was a special feeling that made Sarutobi Hiruzen finally relent and let Orochimaru go during that confrontation. He was unwilling to kill his former most proud disciple. All along, Sarutobi Hiruzen has been hypnotizing and deceiving himself in this regard. As long as Orochimaru does not reappear in front of him, Sarutobi Hiruzen will pretend that such a thing has never happened. Over the years, the best proof is that the Anbu did not search and hunt down Orochimaru seriously at all. But now his most proud disciple is back. And he obviously came back with a conspiracy. This forced Hiruzen Sarutobi to face it. No matter how much he values this disciple, in Sarutobi Hiruzen's heart, Konoha's justice still occupies the top priority. Then I understand, I'll leave it to Orochimaru. Jiraiya took a deep breath and was about to say something. No, Jiraiya, if something unexpected happens, the rest of the village will be left to you to protect. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was on top of the throne, shook his head and said. Old man, you. This clear and unambiguous meaning of the words could not be more clear. Jiraiya's expression was startled. After all, I still need to make up for my past mistakes. Don't worry, I'm not too old to hold up the Rui stick yet. Sarutobi Hiruzen said with a slight smile. I understand, you don't have to worry about other places. With me here, nothing will be a problem. After Jiraiya took a deep look at his teacher, he nodded slowly and said. That, mistake, from many years ago. This is not only a pain that Sarutobi Hiruzen doesn't want to remember, but also for Jiraiya. And this mistake must eventually be corrected. Although it was many years late. I will stay near the village for the next period of time. If you have any information, you can call me first. Old man, don't force yourself too much. Jiraiya stepped to the window and said this last sentence. Swoosh. Jiraiya jumped. He jumped down directly and disappeared into the thick night. Don't force yourself. This sentence should be said to you, but I still hope that you can shoulder the real responsibility that belongs to you when the time is necessary. Sarutobi Hiruzen relit his pipe, took a deep breath, and slowly puffed out the smoke while his brain was filled with many memories of the past. Then he finally stopped at the scene of his favorite disciple's final defection many years ago. This time, I will never hesitate again. Single quote. The various forces wrestled in private before the final collision, but after all, Konoha was still on the defensive in public, and the initiative was temporarily held by the forces of the two major ninja villages of Otoko and Suna, led by Orochimaru. And it was under this huge and dangerous situation that slowly emerged in the shadow. Kanahagakur also ushered in the most lively period in recent years. Politicians and nobles flocked from various countries, and some businessmen who heard the news made Kanahagakur more prosperous and noisy. The people of Konoha, who had no idea that the danger was approaching, fully enjoyed the atmosphere of the celebration during this period. Time passed by little by little. When the Hidden Leaf Village became bustling with people, Menma turned a deaf ear to the outside world and immersed himself in his own training. After the previous battle with Orochimaru, Menma had already fully adapted to the strength of the Four Tails. If the estimate was not too far off, Menma could further trigger more Nine Tails Chakra. It was not difficult to even directly enter the level of half-tailed beast. However, it was a great test for Menma's own body. Whether he could withstand the erosion of the tailed beast's chakra and fully adapt to it was still an unknown. Therefore, Menma still needed to be more cautious in using the Nine Tails Chakra. Anyway, he didn't need to rush at all. For now, the chakra of the strength of the Four Tails was enough to deal with all enemies. In such a large hidden leaf village, except for the old Sarutobi Hiruzen and Jiraiya in the sage mode, only might guy who could open the eight gates could kill Menma. Oh, that Yamato with the extremely inferior wood release can also suppress Menma. After all, no matter how inferior it is, it is still wood release, which still has a high suppressive effect on the tailed beast chakra. With four tails, Yamato's wood release can still suppress it. In addition, in the Hidden Leaf Village, anyone who fights Menma alone has no chance of winning, including Kakashi. You must know that he has not yet realized that his Sharingan has already reached the level of Mangekyo. What's more, the Tailed Beast Chakra is something that cannot be acquired quickly. 
It takes time to accumulate, so that the strength and quality of the body can be gradually adapted while constantly improving, and reach a level where it can adapt perfectly. Therefore, it is useless for menma to be anxious. It is better to make more preparations in other aspects. For example, the further upgrading and development of Rasengan, and the exclusive skills carried by his own whirlpool bloodline. Just like the Uchiha clan's Sharingan, except for the eternal eye that can be completed by artificial transplantation, the previous Magatama Sharingan and the most important Mangekyo Sharingan evolution are not controlled by the Uchiha clan themselves. This is not simply a question of whether there is emotional stimulation. It is more important to look at the talent of the Uchiha clan, to put it bluntly, the concentration of blood. In such a large Uchiha clan, the clan members who can open their eyes are originally a minority, not to mention the top Mangekyo Sharingan. This is not a question of whether you want to open it, but a question of whether you can open it. The same is true for the Uzumaki clan. Whether it is Kagura's hard eye or diamond blockade. This is indeed the exclusive ability of the Uzumaki clan, but not every Uzumaki clan can use such an ability. Menma was born to be able to use Kagura's hard eye, but diamond blockade is not a skill that he mastered at the beginning. Menma once thought that he did not get this skill point. Until that day after the battle with Orochimaru, I don't know if it was because of the use of the Nine Tails Chakra that further stimulated the blood of the Uzumaki clan. Unconsciously, Menma had a feeling that he could use this technique. Therefore, not long after the second round of the Chunin exam ended, Menma couldn't wait to come to a mountain on the highest point on the far right of the village, wanting to try whether he could use this one of the most powerful sealing techniques in the ninja world. Kagura Hard Eye Menma clapped his hands, and the chakra that spread out spread rapidly, completely covering the area within a radius of more than 10 kilometers centered on himself. He was 100% sure that there was no one else around him. It is worth mentioning that since graduating from the ninja school, Menma has never felt the prying that seemed to be hidden in the shadows, which means that Sarutobi here is an almost never used the crystal detection technique to monitor himself. Menma's actions can also become bolder. Further steadily refined chakra. Menma slowly closed his eyes, as if looking inward, exploring his body, and deepening into this kind of self-perception inside. Time slowly passed. I don't know how long it has been. In the silence, suddenly, there seems to be a flash of light. Menma's eyes suddenly opened. He swung his hands in the air. Buzz. The next second, while Menma felt his chakra flowing away rapidly. In the palm of his hands, a golden light flashed. Walala, -la -la. a golden chain visible to the naked eye suddenly appeared, and at that moment it flew out rapidly. Menma's pupil suddenly showed a touch of surprise. But before he could do anything else, the next moment, crack, single quote, it seemed that a bursting sound was transmitted. The diamond chain that just appeared broke directly in less than a second. Then it quickly disappeared into thin air. Menma's smile froze on his face. At that moment, he clearly thought he could use the diamond sealing technique, why did it collapse at the last moment? Is it because the chakra is not enough? No, the amount of chakra just now is already more than the amount of two Rasengans. How could it be not enough? Is it a problem of control? But that's not right, I haven't heard of this technique. Extremely strong control, or is it for some other reason? Menma's brows furrowed. If the time, intensity and quantity of the release are not enough, then there is no problem at all. This is meant to be strengthened step by step. Wanting to be able to use more than 10 and more powerful diamond chains at will like his mother Uzumaki Kashina at once is definitely a dream, but the premise is that one chain can be released stably first. Now even the first chain is so reluctant. It has not been fully formed yet, and it has fallen apart on its own. How about playing ball? No, try again and take a look. Menma took a deep breath and closed his eyes tightly again. The chakra slowly mobilized was deeper and more concentrated than before this time. Next moment, King Kong blockade. Menma's eyes narrowed, and the chakra that spewed out was obviously a much greater chakra output than the first time. With a soft drink, a golden shadow appeared again on the palm of his hand. This time it seemed to last a second or two longer, after the chain was extended to a length of about one meter. Buzz. After another wave of shaking, it broke apart amid Menma's wonderful expression, and then disappeared again. Grass. Menma couldn't help but blurt out a national curse subconsciously. 
One failure, two failures. I still can't find the reason for this. It's strange that Menma isn't depressed. The only thing that can be ruled out is that it's definitely not a chakra problem. Menma doesn't believe that King Kong blockade requires so much chakra to manifest. Don't forget, he can't even make a chain now. Until it is released stably, if it is really a chakra problem, then in the future he will release a dozen or even more chains to control other people. The consumption of this chakra must be an astronomical figure. Quantity is one thing, but the strength of bound enemies is another. If you really compare it to tailed beasts, according to this trend, it must be that you suck yourself into someone else, right? Therefore, it is definitely not a problem of chakra output, it must be other aspects. If you can't find the problem, try it a few more times. I really don't believe it. I won't be able to master this technique. Single quote. Menma took a deep breath, and a look of determination appeared on his face. It's one thing that the technique can't be used. Now that he can initially manifest it, the biggest difficulty has actually been broken through. No matter what world, any problem, the hardest thing is always the breakthrough from zero to one. This is a qualitative change in the true sense, and what follows is just an accumulation of quantitative changes. For Menma, he can definitely be regarded as an orthodox Uzumaki clan bloodline. Even if he does not have the ability in this area, since he has it, he believes that he can definitely reach the level of his mother Uzumaki Kashina. Sa, you have to work hard today. Menma clapped his hands together. The art of multiple shadow clones. The chakra released by Menma also directly separated into more than 100 shadow clones. The reason why more shadow clones were not separated is because the practice of King Kong blockade is indeed very chakra consuming. And Menma also had to retain some chakra, even if he had Kyubi's chakra as a backup. Menma can't do anything casually. Control within a certain level. Then add the amount of training, and Menma will be able to completely block the King Kong in a short time. The power of this technique is enough to prove the power of the Kyubi in the original work when it is restrained and completely unable to move. Even if he can only release a diamond chain, Menma is confident that he can restrain 99.99% .99 of the ninjas in the ninja world. The remaining one ten thousandth depends on the individual. Strength and Special Abilities King Kong Blockade Pong King Kong Blockade Buzz The scattered Vajra blockades that each continuously released also filled this space with special chakra fluctuations. Following from that, in the next few days, Menma has also devoted himself wholeheartedly to the practice of King Kong Blockade, and the upgrading practice of Rasengan has been put aside for the time being. After all, it is only focused on increasing the output of chakra and improving stability. In the control stage, the subsequent injection of changes in chakra properties has not yet been involved. It can be put aside for a while. The King Kong blocking technique is the highlight. And it was also after several days of practice. Menma finally found the feeling gradually. I also gradually understood why I failed in the beginning. The reason was very simple. It was just a matter of concept. Menma had subconsciously regarded King Kong blockade as a ninjutsu, but it should be noted that this is the blood inheritance of the Uzumaki clan. The technique, just like the opening of the Sharingan, requires the blood of the Uchiha clan. This is not a question of whether others think about it, but a question of whether it can be done. Menma cannot look at the Vajra blockade from the perspective of general ninjutsu training, and should have the same mind sight as Kagura. To put it bluntly, it's, just follow your feelings. To tap into the instinctive power deep in one's own bloodline as much as possible, this is the correct way to open the Vajra blockade. Menma also gradually came back to his senses after several days of stumbling. On the morning of the sixth day, King Kong blockade. Menma had already found the right path. On the left side, a shadow clone finally released a complete diamond chain, which was almost several meters long. Under the sunlight, the golden chain reflected beautiful colors. When Menma's eyes were completely exposed, and it was obvious that the chain was very stable and there was no escape. The corners of Menma's mouth also turned up. Untie. This shadow clone was directly eliminated. Puff. 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 When all the shadow clones dissipated and the memory was completely fed back to the main body, Menma's true form also slowly closed his eyes, feeling and savoring the shadow clone training experience bit by bit. The next second. Menma's eyes suddenly opened. King Kong blockade. 
with a flick of one hand. From the palm of his hand, a bright golden shadow suddenly flew out. The majestic momentum that permeated the air. Looking at the diamond chain in his hand, Menma's pupils also showed a hint of obvious joy. I can finally be released smoothly. Single quote. This is a powerful binding aura that can be sensed clearly. This is not real, but at this moment, it feels like this diamond chain is really in his palm. Menma feels as if he can restrict everything. The most powerful sealing technique. Single quote. Menma shook the chain lightly. Wa la la. It was swung to the right quickly. Bang. Boom boom. It easily knocked down more than ten trees around. The power of a chain has reached such an exaggerated degree. When he thought of the scene in the original book where his mother in this life could easily release more than ten diamond chains, the beautiful color in Menma's pupils became more and more intense. That's how it is, to completely restrict the tailed beast. Single quote. Of course, not to mention that Menma can only release one diamond chain now. Even if he can release several more diamond chains at once, it is impossible to reach the strength of Kashina at once. Just like the same eight gates. At present, the limit of Lee is only five gates. Can he compare with Might Guy who can easily open five gates? Not only is there a huge gap in their own strength, but there is another gap in their mastery and understanding of the eight gates. Therefore, Menma would not immediately think that he really has the ability to restrict everything with just this diamond chain. The feeling just now was just a moment of self-expansion, and he quickly adjusted back. After slightly further adapting to this diamond chain, and fully feeling and mastering the rate of chakra consumption. Release. Single quote. Menma directly released the technique. And that was the moment the spell had just been released. A sudden feeling of dizziness came over Menma's mind. He staggered and almost fell to the ground. Take steps forward subconsciously. Stopped body shape. Avoiding the embarrassing posture of a dog chewing mud, Menma shook his head slightly to clear his mind for a while, and then there was a wry smile on his face, I'm still a bit reluctant today. Single quote. He raised his head and glanced at the setting sun. Not only did I spend more time practicing today than in the previous days, but I also had twice as many shadow clones. This was also because yesterday's practice seemed to have completely grasped the feeling, and Menma planned to pursuing the victory, the extra amount of chakra consumed, and the fatigue caused by the multiplied feedback, even Menma almost couldn't bear it. But it's still within control. At this juncture, Menma would not allow himself to pass out due to excessive training. I originally planned to spend a little more time consolidating it, but now it seems that enough is enough. That's it for today. Single quote. After Menma took a deep breath, he turned around, packed his bags, and headed back to the original location. All the way down the road, I happened to be passing by the entrance of Ichiraku Ramen. Menma sensed two huge chakra auras approaching slowly from a location not far away. One of the chakra auras was very familiar, it was Menma's chief brother, Naruto. As for the other chakra aura, although it is not as exaggerated as Naruto, from the perspective of an ordinary ninja, this is already a very terrifying chakra. It is far beyond the Jonans like Kakashi, Asuma, and Metkai, even Sarutobi Hiruzen can't compare, but Menma is still very unfamiliar. Who could be the owner of this chakra? Could it be? Single quote. A look of confusion appeared on Menma's face, but just a second later, an idea flashed in Menma's mind, and another person's name appeared directly in his mind. It's Jiraiya. Single quote. And that is at the same time. At that corner location, two figures, one large and one small, appeared in Menma's eyes. Of course Naruto didn't mention it. The one standing on the left is wearing a forehead protector with the word, oil, a red coat, and long white hair. There is no doubt that the person coming is Jiraiya. The moment Menma saw the two of them, Jiraiya and Naruto also saw Menma. Oh, oh, Menma, what a coincidence, I can meet you here. Naruto also immediately raised his right hand and waved it vigorously, shouting towards Menma with a smile on his face. Jiraiya was also startled. When he saw Menma's familiar long hair, his face seemed vaguely familiar. An unnatural look of guilt flashed across Jiraiya's pupils quickly, but it only took a second before it was covered up by Jiraiya himself. Oh, is this your first place in this class? Naruto. Jiraiya said with a smile. Ah, yes, Grandpa Jiraiya, this is the Uzumaki Menma-kun I mentioned to you before. He is the best in our class. Menma, 
This one is. Naruto seemed very proud. He first introduced Menma to Jiraiya, and then turned to look at Menma, wanting to introduce Jiraiya to Menma. I've met Jiraiya-sama. Menma, however, took a step forward and bowed slightly, saluting with a hint of respect. E.H. Do you know Grandpa Jiraiya? Menma, Naruto was stunned subconsciously. Haha, Naruto, what are you talking about? As a ninja of Konoha, if you don't even know Jiraiya-sama, you are disqualified. You must know that Jiraiya-sama is our hero of Konoha, is the disciple of the third generation master, and also the fourth generation master, that is, your father's master. Menma seemed to really respect him, looking up at Jiraiya, still speaking with a hint of, respect. Oh, yes, Naruto nodded and said as if he had just come to his senses. Jiraiya on the side looked very proud and patted Naruto's little head and said, Look at Menma, you need to study more, Naruto, you are still far behind. I know, Grandpa Jiraiya, as I said just now, Menma is the best in our class. I will definitely study hard with Menma. Naruto also patted his chest and said, Ha ha, that's fine, your name is Menma, right? The young man is very discerning, very nice. You haven't had dinner yet, right? How about it? Do you want to come together? Jiraiya looked at Naruto with a smile, and turned to look at Menma in the second half of the sentence, saying with a cheerful look. It is an honor for me to be invited by Lord Jiraiya. Menma said still with a hint of respect. Ha ha, what's the honor? It's just a casual meal. You don't have to be so formal. Since you and Naruto are on the same team, you can also call me Grandpa Jiraiya. No need to call me anything. Adults and the like, it seems too raw. Jiraiya said with a smile and waved his hand. No, that would be rude. Menma said quickly, still looking polite. This obviously fits the look of an ordinary Konoha ninja when he sees Jiraiya. But just don't know why. At that moment, Jiraiya had a feeling that the child in front of him was deliberately trying to distance himself from him. But only for a second. Jiraiya shook his head to dispel this nonsensical thought. Menma in front of him looked so polite and respectful, so how could he have such thoughts? This is a 12-year-old kid, isn't it? Hey, don't worry about such details, let's go. Jiraiya stepped forward and placed a hand directly on Menma's shoulder, looking very familiar with it. Yes, yes, there is no need to be polite to Grandpa Jiraiya, Menma, he is a rich man. Naruto on the side also said with a smile. Yes. Menma replied with a chuckle. The group of people walked towards the store location of Ichiraku Ramen. Boss, I want a large bowl of barbecued pork ramen. As soon as he walked in, Naruto couldn't wait and shouted loudly. Oh, it's Naruto, Iris, a large bowl of barbecued pork ramen. The moment the owner of Ichiraku Ramen saw Naruto, his face was full of smiles and he shouted loudly to his daughter who was busy behind him. The next second, the boss also saw Jiraiya on the side, and instantly showed a touch of excitement and said, Ah, it's Jiraiya-sama. He quickly bowed and saluted. Don't be so polite, boss. Naruto and I are the same. Let's have some barbecued pork ramen. Menma, what do you want to eat? Jiraiya smiled and waved his hand, then turned to look at Menma and said. I'll have some barbecued pork noodles too. Menma said softly. Ichiraku ramen. As the most famous delicacy in the original work, Menma has naturally eaten it after coming to this world. Of course, this is also due to his knowing that the boss of Ichiraku Ramen does not hate and reject noodles like ordinary people. Ma, just like he treats other guests, treats Menma like an ordinary child. Menma naturally wanted to come to this store. This was also the only place where Menma could eat out in the 12 years before graduation. Of course, he had to go in when there were no other customers, and he ate very quickly every time. Once he sensed the arrival of other people, Menma will leave immediately and early, no matter whether he is grateful or not. People just treat themselves normally. It's just that in such a ninja village, the boss's behavior is very commendable and very friendly. Menma definitely wouldn't be moved to the point of being moved. But at least in my heart, I definitely don't want to affect other people's business because of myself. The boss of Ichiraku Ramen naturally knows Menma. Regarding Menma's experience and situation, this boss actually feels a little bit pitiful. He also feels that some other people are a little too much. After all, Menma is just a person. He is a child, but he can understand the neighbors. 
You must know that in the chaos 12 years ago, countless people lost their relatives and friends. It is difficult to contain such hatred. Not to mention that the boss is just an ordinary person. It is impossible for him to have any say or ability in this aspect. At most, he can only secretly add more weight to Menma when he comes to eat. This can be regarded as a kind of care from him. Well, let's add two more portions of barbecued pork. Lord Jiraiya, please wait a moment. After the boss bowed again, he immediately turned around to prepare ramen for three people. Not long after, three servings of steaming ramen, which were obviously far larger than the normal portion, were placed in front of the three of them. I'm gonna start now. Naruto, who was sitting in the middle seat, immediately lit up his eyes. After saying this eagerly, he started to eat hungrily. It seems that for Naruto, all the delicious food in the world is not worth a bowl of fragrant Ichiraku ramen. In just less than a few minutes, this bowl of ramen, which most ordinary people might not be able to finish, went into Naruto's stomach. And Menma on the side was no less willing to give in. He has a good appetite, and he practiced all day today. A bowl of ramen is enough to reach the bottom in the blink of an eye. Jiraiya on the side looked at Naruto and Menma's almost simultaneous dining movements, and a trace of reminiscence unconsciously appeared in the depths of his pupils. Same red hair, same blonde hair. The face was somewhat similar to Minato's, and the appearance was somewhat similar to Kashina's. At that moment, Jiraiya seemed to feel that he had gone back to the time when he had dinner together at the home of one of his disciples more than ten years ago. Is it already twelve years? Single quote. Jiraiya couldn't help but think to himself. As if all this was just yesterday. Twelve years ago, when he received the news that his disciple and his wife had died in battle, Jiraiya didn't believe his ears at all. In his opinion, his talented disciple would at least have to lead Konoha 20-30 years, right? How could he die so easily? He didn't believe it, or he didn't want to believe it. But when he returned to Konoha, what he saw was the bodies of Minato, Kashina and his wife who had become completely cold and stiff, as well as the newborn Naruto and Menma who were still in their infancy, brother. At that moment, Jiraiya's heart was undoubtedly filled with sadness. Looking at the young Menma and Naruto brothers, Jiraiya was even more filled with pity. It would definitely be a lie to say that Jiraiya had never had the idea of returning to Konoha Hidden Village and personally taking care of Naruto and Menma brothers. But in the end, he chose to leave Konoha again for some reasons, maybe because of Mount Myoboku's ridiculous, son of prophecy, prophecy, or maybe because of a series of words of Hiruzen Serutobi. But no matter what, Jiraiya evaded his responsibility after all. Yes, it is responsibility. An identity that is different from others. Jiraiya is truly Minato's mentor. Even in the world of Naruto, this kind of master-disciple relationship is similar to that of father and son. Just like how Naruto calls Jiraiya in this life, Jiraiya is Menma and Naruto's, grandpa, in a real sense. But what, in the past 12 years, has Jiraiya fulfilled his obligations and responsibilities as a grandfather? Oh, it refers to the aspect of facial numbness. After all, Naruto has the aura of being the, son of the fourth Hokage. In the past 12 years, Jiraiya had occasionally returned to Konoha, but he only visited Naruto, not Menma, not even once. It was also because of this that Jiraiya felt full of guilt towards Ma. But as some fans said in the previous life, if Jiraiya knew about Naruto's childhood experience but didn't take care of him, then Jiraiya was bad. If he didn't know about Naruto's childhood experience at all, then he was stupid, and hopelessly stupid. No matter which possibility it is, Jiraiya's responsibility cannot be shirked. Menma naturally didn't know what Jiraiya was thinking at the moment. Even if he knew, he would only sneer. Guilt, this kind of emotion is always the most luxurious and useless. To paraphrase a sentence from Menma's previous life. If apologies are useful, what do we need the police for? Single quote. Menma is no longer the person he was when he first came to this world. That ridiculous filter from the previous life has long been abandoned by Menma. Now, when he looks at anyone in this world, he has only one criterion, his own people who are willing to walk side by side or enemies who block his way. Therefore, Menma looks at Jiraiya, just like he looks at Kakashi and others, as a stranger. What kind of attitude he will have in the future depends on what they choose. Of course, this is basically foreseeable. Menma, 
the direction you just came from is the mountain on the west side of the village, what are you going there for? After eating and drinking, step out of the store. Naruto burped and patted his belly with satisfaction, then tilted his head and looked at Menma, asking with a hint of curiosity. Ah, I'm training there. Isn't there still some time before the third round of the competition? I want to make myself as strong as possible. Menma replied with a smile. Oh, training, indeed, Sasuke was also taken away by brother Kakashi to do some training. I also plan to let Grandpa Jiraiya guide me in training. Hey, Menma, why don't you come with me, okay? Grandpa Jiraiya. Naruto nodded as if he understood, and then as if he thought of something, he suddenly turned his head to look at Jiraiya who had just finished paying the bill and stepped out, and asked loudly. Haha, of course there is no problem. There is no problem at all in guiding you too. Jiraiya raised his eyebrows, and then laughed and nodded without hesitation. Menma is also the child of Minato and Kashina. He was unable to take care of him before for various reasons. Now is the time. Menma can't never know who his parents are, right? But what Jiraiya didn't know was that Menma already knew about this. When Menma heard Naruto's words, his face was stunned, and his mind couldn't help but recall the relationship between Jiraiya and the nine-tailed Jinchuriki Naruto in the original book. When I watched it before, I felt how warm and touching it was. When Jiraiya died in battle. At that time, I was still very young in my previous life. Outside the screen, I felt sad like Naruto inside. But he in this life. He is Menma Uzumaki. He has no good feelings towards Jiraiya. Because the 12 years of vacancy and 12 years of responsibility cannot be made up by the so-called companionship later. After the nail is nailed to the wall, even if it is pulled out again, the hole of the nail on the wall still exists. He is Menma Uzumaki, not Naruto Uzumaki. He can't forget all the unfair treatment and hatred with the heart of a saint, and then be grateful for the so-called kindness. Therefore, Menma also smiled and shook his head and said, then I don't need to trouble Master Jiraiya, because I am doing basic training during this period. Basic training, Naruto looked puzzled. Well, it's kunai throwing, and physical training. I think ninjas still pay more attention to basic training content. In this way, it is a very good stabilization of our own strength, and as long as the foundation is solid, the improvement of strength will become more obvious. Menma replied softly. This is certainly not Menma talking nonsense. Ninjas need to focus on their basic training. A typical example is Might Guy. He has been practicing the most basic training for countless years. Ha, huh, is it true? Naruto's eyes lit up when he heard that he could become stronger. What Menma said makes sense. Ninjas don't become particularly strong just by learning a lot of ninjutsu. Of course, you have to learn ninjutsu, but you have to learn ninjutsu that suits you, and you must never lose the basics. This is the real way to practice. Jiraiya also continued Menma's words and said with a smile. Since you have your own plan, then follow your own pace. You and Naruto should work hard for the Chunin exam in a month. Looking at Menma, who not only looks a bit like Minato, but also has a personality and thinking similar to Minato, Jiraiya's pupils also revealed a touch of relief. Yes, Master Jiraiya, then, it's getting late today, I'll excuse myself first, see you later, Naruto. Menma looked up at the sky that had completely darkened, and bowed slightly to Jiraiya. Oh, see you later, Menma. Yeah, after Jiraiya responded with a smile. Menma then took two steps back, turned around and walked away. Looking at the back of Menma who was leaving, Jiraiya also nodded gently. Naruto, Menma is a very good ninja, you should get in touch with him more. Yeah, don't worry about this, Grandpa Jiraiya, Menma and I have a very good relationship. Naruto also patted his chest and said, Well, that's fine, let's go, you should go back and have a good rest today. Tomorrow, we will continue to practice. Oh 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 oh. When Jiraiya heard Naruto's words, he showed a very happy look on his face. The two were brothers. Jiraiya certainly hoped to see the relationship between Naruto and Menma become better and better. But Jiraiya now has no way of knowing. This is just his wishful thinking. No basis for getting along, no feelings of living together. Brothers with different treatment, sorry, Menma would still look so naive before, but in Menma's eyes now, these are ridiculous luxuries. In his eyes, there is only himself now. 
encountering Jiraiya by chance. It did not cause any fluctuations in Menma's heart, but instead made him go further to carefully plan the upcoming Chunin exam. After all, how strong Jiraiya is. Menma still knows it very well. Under normal circumstances, he is already a leader among the cage level. After absorbing natural energy, he enters the sage mode. Even if it is not the most perfect one, it is definitely able to beat all cage level existences. If he takes action in the Chunin exam and is targeted by this Konoha hero, the only consequence will be to burst out more Nine Tails chakra at all costs. However, this is the worst situation. If the situation really does not match his judgment, Menma will never take action. Taking the opportunity to escape is the best way. Now, he doesn't have the capital to go head on with the entire Hidden Leaf Village, even if Orochimaru and the Hidden Sand Village are there. Venting emotions is one thing, but saving one's life is the most important thing. There will be many such opportunities in the future, so there is no need to take risks. As for Orochimaru, they are just a cooperative relationship of exchanging interests. Menma sees it very clearly, not to mention that he made it very clear to Kabuto Yakushi at the beginning. As long as he can clearly bring subsequent benefits to Orochimaru, it doesn't matter if he doesn't take action. This is just a test between each other. By the way, does Orochimaru know that Jiraiya is back? Forget it, let's remind him first, be prepared before you are in trouble. Menma, who returned to his home, also revealed a hint of thought in his pupils. Putting aside the guys whose combat power collapsed later, Jiraiya is a real top combat power in the ninja world. The battle between Jiraiya and Six Paths of Pain is also called the last battle in the most Naruto style by many fans of the original work. The subsequent battles have already begun to deviate from the original style and feeling. To be honest, Menma doesn't care which side wins or loses in this Konoha collapse plan. Menma only cares about two things, whether he can successfully leave Konoha, and whether Orochimaru must retreat alive. If Orochimaru dies in Konoha, it will definitely be a very difficult matter for Menma. We still need to be more meticulous and cautious. Single quote. Through the window, Menma looked at the Chunin exam main competition venue in the distance, which was almost completed, and clenched his hands slightly. Time flies by. In the blink of an eye, a month has passed quickly. In the past month, Kanahagakur village has also entered the most noisy and bustling period. The high-ranking nobles and politicians from the Land of Fire, the Land of Wind, and some small and medium-sized countries around have made Konoha's business very prosperous. There are crowds of people everywhere. The people who open shops in Konoha are smiling every day. During this period of time, these merchants in Konoha can be said to have made a lot of money. These nobles and politicians who are either rich or noble are a group of mobile cornucopias. There is no need to worry about the consumption capacity of these people. Menma walked casually on the streets of Kanahagakur village, and he could clearly see the happiness and joy on the faces of these people. No one would have expected the arrival of disaster. Of course, for the lower class people, this is the most reasonable way of life. They can only see the present, not only because of the environment, but also because of their identity. How can ordinary people have the ability and opportunity to control their own destiny? Go with the flow constantly struggle in the long river of life. If you are lucky, you can swim to your own end and draw a tentatively perfect period. If you are unlucky, you will sink directly into the bottom of the endless abyss. This is the fate of ordinary people. And what Menma wants to do is to get rid of such a fate. His life in this life must be in his own hands. Living in frustration is definitely not the future that Menma wants. Therefore, even if there is a deep abyss in front of him, he will jump down without hesitation. This is Menma's own choice. Walk lightly to a street on the easternmost side of the village. Step down along the right position. The tide of people coming and going. Inadvertently, it seems that someone lightly bumped Menma's shoulder. Menma paused for a moment, then started walking again. After turning the next corner, he headed straight back to his home. He waited until night fell, and the whole village was covered in a layer of dark camouflage. Menma gently pushed open the door of the house. The huge perception spread. When he was 100% sure that there was no ninja around. Swoosh, Menma lightly tapped his toes and flew directly to the northwest. A figure blending into the night. All the way, there was no sound. 
relying on the huge perception. Menma completely avoided all the people and came directly to an extremely remote and seldom visited residential area in the northwest of Kanahagakur village. And there, there were already two figures waiting for Menma. The one on the right is naturally Kabuto Yakushi, who has been in charge of contacting Menma during this period of time. The other figure is the most capable and trusted subordinate of the fourth case cage, the strongest Jonin in the sand village at present, Maki. The moment he sensed the appearance of Menma's chakra, Maki was subconsciously alert. The look he gave Kabuto Yakushi was full of suspicion. Kabuto Yakushi, what does this mean? After all, allies who came together only for the sake of interests can't have any trust at all. Konoha and Sand Village have been allies for many years, and they can't just stab each other. At the level of national ninja villages, talking about trust is a joke. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, Maki-san, this is another ally of ours that I told you about before. This is one of the most important arms in our plan this time. Kabuto Yakushi didn't care about Maki's vigilance at all, and still said with a smile. And just as Kabuto Yakushi's words fell, Menma had already rushed to the near point. After seeing Menma's appearance and the forehead protector, Maki was stunned for a moment, then he looked at Kabuto Yakushi with anger and said, the biggest helper. Are you kidding? A kid from Konoha who is only 10 years old? Hee <laughs> hee. Isn't Gara-kun also only 10 years old? Kabuto Yakushi said with a smile. Menma had a blank expression on his face. Can Gara be the same? Gara is from our sand village. Could it be? Maki said with a smile instead of anger, but only halfway through, Maki's brain flashed, and he turned his head suddenly, looking at Menma again with a look of complete disbelief. That's what you said, Maki-san. Kabuto Yakushi continued. Impossible absolutely impossible, this guy can't be from Konoha. Maki waved his hand, still saying it with a look of complete disbelief. But it was only a second later. Boom, Menma's body burst out with a strong chakra power, which was obviously the red chakra controlled within a certain range, but it was enough to make Menma change into the fox pupil posture. Maki's words came to an abrupt end. It was as if someone had grabbed his neck directly. Can we stop talking nonsense? We don't have so much time to waste, there are only three days left before the scheduled time. I've said it before, Do-san, if your plan does not satisfy me, I will not take action, please remember this. Menma said with a cold look at Kabuto Yakushi and Maki. Today is the day when the plan is finally finalized. Because a month is too long, so long that any accident may happen at any time during this process, causing the plan to have to be changed. Jiraiya's return to the village is the biggest unexpected factor. Menma was reluctant to get involved too deeply at first, but later he thought that if he could know more about the plans made by Orochimaru and the Sand Ninja, it would be more conducive to his next choices and arrangements. Risks, of course, exist. At this juncture, no matter what choice Menma makes, there will definitely be pros and cons, and everything depends on how Menma chooses. It was just a flash. But Maki almost doubted his life. Nine-tailed Jinchuriki. Although I am not so sure, after all, Konoha has never sent nine-tailed Jinchuriki to the battlefield. But the pressure just now. It seemed to make his soul tremble. And combined with the information collected before, Maki had to believe that the red-haired boy in front of him was the nine-tails Jinchuriki of the Hidden Leaf Village. But Maki still had a feeling of unreality. This really couldn't be blamed on Maki's lack of self-cultivation. Rather, the things in front of him were too unreal. The Nine Tails Jinchuriki of Konoha, standing on their side. Joining the Konoha Collapse Plan. Listen, is this human talk? Isn't this nonsense? Even though Marky was well informed, his brain almost shut down at this moment. The Jinchuriki is the highest, nuclear weapon, in a ninja village. Rebellion so easily. Or is this a fake? But the posture, power, and demeanor just now, combined with the information collected by his own ninja village in the past few years, are enough to prove that Menma in front of him is 99% the Kayubi of Konoha Hidden Village. Jinchuriki. And Kabuto Yakushi couldn't possibly joke about this. Three days later, they were going to launch a surprise attack on Konoha's largest ninja village. The elite troops of the two major ninja villages were about to arrive at the designated location. The leaders of the two major ninja villages, one had already arrived first, and the other one had arrived as well. About to leave. 
on such an important matter related to the rise and fall of the two great ninja villages. Marky didn't think Kabuto Yakushi had any reason or courage to lie. Therefore, no matter how unrealistic it is, when there is only one possibility left, Marky must believe that everything in front of him is reality. After taking a deep breath, Marky also immediately adjusted his mentality. Haha, <laughs> of course, Menmakun, I called you here today just to confirm the final steps of the plan so that you can take action with peace of mind, right? Makizen. Kabuto Yakushi said with a slight smile. Maki looked at Menma with a fixed look, and said with a very cold look, of course there will be no problems with the plan. At least we Suna Ninja will ensure that there will be no problems in any step. The first wave of offensive will be launched by our side according to the original plan. Quote. The problem is, you won't have any problems here, right? And this one, hey, what is Menma Kun's attitude? He will act according to the situation. What does this mean? What do you mean? That is of course the literal meaning. I will cooperate with you, but the premise is very simple, that is, there will be no accidents in your plan. As far as I know, Konoha is already on guard. This paragraph the security force of Konoha at that time was completely tense outside and within the pine trees. Also, Jiraiya, who is as famous as Orochimaru-san, has returned to Konoha. Don't tell me that you have no idea about this news. I can't hear you. Your plan seems perfect, but what if something goes wrong? I'm not interested in dying with you. Menma looked back at Maji coldly, and every word he spoke was full of serious meaning. Such unkind words. This somewhat conveys a hint of contempt. It also made Maji frown, but he didn't respond immediately. How deep is Konoha's heritage and how strong is Jiraiya? As a veteran of Sunagakur village who has experienced the Third Ninja War, as a Jonin, Maki knows this best. Just as Menma said, if there is a problem in any part of their plan, it may lead to the failure of the plan. During this period of time, they risked many discussions and consultations in order to control the risk to the lowest possible range. On this point, Menma Kun, you don't need to worry. We are all in a cooperative relationship. There is no such thing as forcing anyone to do anything. We all did it for our own interests and our own intentions, right? What's happening on Konoha's side is also it's exactly what we expected. Kabuto Yakushi said meaningfully. Only, Menma was not touched at all by Yakushi Kabuto's words. Benefit, sorry, Menma can't see any benefit to himself in taking action against Konoha. In the final analysis, there is only one reason for taking action, and that is to vent his emotions. Therefore, this is not a necessity for Menma at all. Reason to take action. Again, Menma was happy to just go with the trend and take a small risk, but if he had to take a huge risk, it was 100% impossible for Menma to take action. Maki-san doesn't need to worry about our sound ninja side at all. As long as Gara-kun successfully launches a wave of offensive, I will take action next, and then the case cage sama and Orochimaru-sama will also be in the shortest time. The third Hokage was eliminated within the time required. Outside the village, our elite troops of Sound Ninja and Suna Ninja were already ready. Lord Jiraiya also had corresponding arrangements to support Menma Kun. You just need to take action at the right time and protect Gara Kun. I believe this is not a big problem for you, right? Yakushi Kabuto pushed up his black rimmed glasses and said softly. This is the finalized action plan. It is also a plan that must be finalized before this final critical point of action. It was also their last meeting before the plan unfolded. It is necessary to take into account all possible measures and means of Konoha's response. Well, as long as everything goes according to plan, I will naturally take action. Menma still looked cold and cold. To be honest, the most beneficial way to confront Ma is to quietly leave the village while Konoha hidden village is being attacked. This is the least risky approach. Participating in the Konoha collapse plan is truly the opposite. Ma didn't have much benefit, but unfortunately, after coming into contact with Orochimaru, all this was out of Menma's control. Fortunately, Menma still has some room for maneuver. At that time, the decision will have to be made based on the situation on the spot. Markison, there shouldn't be any other problems here, right? We Suna Ninja will never have any problems here. Maji also replied with a slightly cold expression. Since there are no problems with each other, we will come here today and wait for three days. Everything will go as planned. 
Medicine Master Kabuto said with a smile. Although I don't know which one of you two is suspected, but before leaving, shouldn't you sort out the situation first? Menma looked at the back of the house on the left with a cold expression. That was the chakra aura that was almost completely locked by Menma. Not good. In the shadows, when the figure heard Menma's words, his expression couldn't help but change. Whoosh. The chakra burst out at such a rapid rate that he couldn't help but continue to hide his figure. Ha ha, it's just a little tail. Menma Kun, don't worry, I'll just. Kabuto the pharmacist replied with a smile. But the words were not finished yet. No, leave this mouse to me. Ma Ji on the side smiled grimly. Boom, that was the figure that flew out one step ahead of time, chasing in the direction where the eavesdropper had left. Two figures flew out one after the other. Even though the former has already accelerated his speed to the extreme, Marky is obviously much faster, just in a few steps. Marky was blocking the way of the sneaking person. Seeing that his retreat route was completely blocked, the visitor's heart sank, and he immediately took out the flare from his arms, but before he could fire it, Maki's figure quickly approached the position in front of him. He could only barely dodge the incoming posture. Bang! The next second, Maki's right leg hit the visitor's right arm heavily, and in pain, he subconsciously loosened his palm. The flare fell on the ground. He didn't even bother to retrieve the flare. That was the cold light that followed him like a shadow, forcing the visitor to retreat further. It was very embarrassing that he just barely opened a safer distance again. With the help of the dispersing dark clouds, the bright moonlight was revealed. The face of the visitor was reflected. That familiar and slightly sick appearance. It was the third round of the Chunin exam's chief examiner, Moonlight Gale. Wow, isn't this the examiner of the Chunin exam? You came here so late at night, what are you doing? Maki looked at Gecko Gale with a dead look on his face. Sagakur, Odogakur, what are you going to do? Isn't Sand Village an ally of Konoha? And you, Uzumaki Menma, are you going to betray the village? Why? Gaku Gale changed his sickly look at this moment, and looked at Maki in the opposite position with a murderous look on his face, and Menma who appeared almost synchronously not far to the right. Compared to the joint plot of Sand Village and Odogakur. Obviously, at this moment, the appearance of Uzumaki Menma and his obvious participation in the conspiracy plan of Sand Village and Odogakur brought the greatest psychological impact to this examiner. That's the Nine Tails Jinchuriki of their Kanahagakur. At this moment, Moonlight Gale would rather be trapped in an illusion, or this is a false existence deliberately created by the opponent. But the Nine Tails chakra burst just now was real. This made Moonlight Gale's mentality at this moment feel like it was about to collapse. Facing Moonlight Gale's roar, Menma just looked at him expressionlessly. He was just a special Jonin level extra, and he followed just to prevent Maki from making a mistake. Menma was in no mood to talk nonsense with him. Hee <laughs> hee, ally, does Konoha really regard a sand village as allies? For more than ten years, our sand village's patience has reached its limit. It's time to end this twisted relationship. Maki revealed a strong murderous aura between his eyebrows. Wind style, wind blade. Maki no longer had any extra nonsense. He used his own proud ninjutsu. Boom, this cyclone exploded directly. Swoosh, the figure running up, soaring to the extreme speed, made Yu Guang Jifeng's heart shudder. How can I repair it? In a hurry, the ninja sword behind him was drawn out. Three day moon dance. The cold light that burst out was also rushed straight to the front. He knew that it was impossible to defeat the enemy in front of him. Not to mention that there was another sound ninja in the existence of Menma. Breaking out by force was his only way to survive. Kang, however, Yu Guang Jifeng not only overestimated himself, but also underestimated Maki. Maki is currently the top existence among the Jonin in the Sand Village. This naked difference in strength is presented. Undoubtedly crushing posture. Only one or two rounds of collision. Puchi. Maki easily caught the gap in Yu Guang Jifeng's attack. The wind blade directly hit the vital point. The fierce attack crossed down. As the bodies intertwined, Moonlight Gale's face froze, and he felt the intense tearing pain from his abdomen. He lowered his head with difficulty, and saw scarlet bloodstains, which could be felt as the life force was rapidly fading away. Shi Yan. Single quote. After the figure of his lover flashed before his eyes. 
Moonlight Gale's eyes went dark, and his consciousness completely sank into the darkness. His body leaned forward and fell softly on the ground. Killed by Maki's hands. Then, Maki directly inserted his wind blade into Moonlight Gale's brain, twisted it hard, and completely shattered Moonlight Gale's brain. After all, the corpse of a ninja can also obtain information. Especially the Hidden Leaf Village. The Yamanaka clan is the best in this regard. After witnessing this scene with his own eyes, Menma also jumped away from the original place and disappeared into the thick night. Maki took a deep look at the direction where Menma left, and a special light flashed in his pupils. Konoha's Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Ha ha, this is really God's help to our sand village. Single quote. Maki whispered this sentence, and his figure flashed and disappeared directly on the spot. Only the cold body of Moonlight Gale was left desolately on this wasteland. The death of Moonlight Gale. It is obvious that this is another alarm bell for Kanahagakur. Although there is no clear evidence yet, the death of a special Jonin is a clear signal. Even if it is just to guard against Orochimaru, Kanahagakur needs to be very alert. At this critical time when there are only two or three days left for the Chunin exam. The atmosphere in Kanahagakur has become extremely tense. But the lower class people still know nothing about it. They are still smiling, especially on the day of the main competition. The celebration atmosphere of the whole Konoha has reached an extreme level. Menma, fully armed, pushing open the door, facing the extremely bright and sunny weather. Feeling the atmosphere that has become heated because of the Chunin exam, Menma's mouth corners also reveal a hint of sarcasm. It's been 12 years, and it's really necessary for you to recall it again. I hope you can still laugh when the time comes. Single quote. Menma looked at the Konoha people who gathered together with a cold gaze, thinking in his heart. Enjoying the peace and tranquility brought by the Hidden Leaf Village. Then in the moment of confrontation, you need to pay the corresponding price. Menma certainly has sufficient reasons to hate this group of people. Although it is not to the extent that he must take revenge himself, if he can see this group of people fall into suffering, Menma will definitely be happy to see it. Let's go, the next stage is the official stage. Single quote. Menma strode out and went straight to the venue of the main competition on the other side of the village. When Menma arrived at the venue, there was still more than an hour before the start of the main competition, but the venue was already full of people. As the Chunin exam only comes once every few years, the people in Kanahagakur naturally don't want to miss it. Even though the venue is already crowded and it is impossible to squeeze in, the crowds outside the venue are still gathering. Even if you can't see it, you can just feel the warm atmosphere of such a grand ceremony. The vendors are working hard to promote their products. A formal Chunin exam held by two major ninja villages and participated by many ninja villages has become a festive temple fair. Menma, who entered in a line, also entered the venue through the special channel for the players. There, the Sand Village trio had arrived early. Sasuke, who was late in the original work, arrived at the scene one step earlier than Menma in this life. Menma was the last one to arrive at the venue among the ten people. Oh, Menma, you are too late, you are the last one to arrive. Naruto shook his right hand and shouted at Menma. Hee hee, it's not that I am too late, but you are too early. What time is it now? Menma stepped to the side of Naruto, Sasuke and others and said softly. Only at that moment, Menma's pupils also revealed an inexplicable color. Because if nothing unexpected happens. Today, here. It is the day when he cuts off all the past. These so-called companions, this so-called, brother, of his own, may become his enemy. The kind of enemy that must be defeated or even killed. Just like Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama in the past. This is a collision of ideas and a choice of different paths. Hee <laughs> hee, how can it be late? Look, the whole venue is already full. Today, this is the biggest stage for us to do a big job. Naruto could not notice the change in Menma's mood at that moment. Now he is fully immersed in such a warm atmosphere. Such a big stage and such a noisy scene are very much in line with Naruto's wishes. He can't wait to show his style on such a big stage. Sasuke who is standing next to him, is also a little excited. To revive the Uchiha clan, they must re-establish their reputation in the ninja world. The first battle is against the genius of the Hyuga clan, who is the top of the previous session. For Sasuke, 
he is one of the most valuable opponents. Defeat the first of the previous session, and then defeat the first of this session. At this moment, Sasuke also glanced at Neji with full fighting spirit, and then looked at Menma. After all, in the past month, the second pillar has experienced Kakashi's personal teaching. The second pillar, who feels that he has been reborn, feels that he can do it. He also wants to prove himself on such a stage. Also staring at Menma is Xiao Li. It is also an ending that Xiao Li is very happy to see that he can meet Menma in the first battle. Menma, Sasuke, Neji, and Naruto. These are the ones that Li wants to defeat in order to prove himself. As for the Gara trio who have ulterior motives, none of them are thinking about the Chunin exam. On the scene, the only one who is really nervous and worried about this Chunin exam is Haruno Sakura. She never thought that she could actually enter the last round of the Chunin exam. But she is also very clear about how much water she has entered this last round. The first round is a written test, which has nothing to do with strength. The second round of the scroll battle is supposed to test the teamwork and individual strength of the team. But unfortunately, the unexpectedness of their Team 7 means that Sakura does not need to show any performance at all, and she enters the third round of the main competition in a muddle. In this single elimination arena, it can only rely on personal strength. Among the 10 people, Sakura knew very well that she was the weakest one, not to mention that she was in such a large venue with tens of thousands of spectators watching the game. Sakura's heartstrings were stretched to the highest degree, and her subconscious look around was the best proof. Okay, stop looking around and chatting, the game is about to start, and the next stage belongs to the ten of you. In the front position, Shiranui Genma, who replaced the dead Gecko Gale as the chief examiner, bit a thin Sanban, raised his chin slightly, and pointed to the two figures wearing divine robes on the highest podium, and said to the ten people of Menma with a slightly serious tone. Menma, Naruto, Gara and others, as well as everyone present, also focused their attention on the highest position at this moment. There was a hint of sarcasm in the deepest part of Menma's eyes. And Gara's eyes became extremely cold. On the left is the aged third Hokage of Kanahagakur, and on the right is the fourth case cage of Sandgakur. They are two of the most respected five cage in the ninja world. Most of the people at the scene burst into the most enthusiastic cheers at this moment. Of course, the rest is unclear. Menma can clearly judge that this case cage has been taken over by someone else. After all, Menma is very familiar with Orochimaru's chakra. Under the perception of his Kagura mind's eye, it is impossible to make a wrong judgment. Rosa was still killed, and a high-end combat force was lost. Single quote. Menma couldn't help but think secretly in his heart. No matter how bad Rasa is, he is also a cage-level existence. If he could really cooperate with Orochimaru, Sarutobi Hiruzen would only die faster. It's a pity that this guy was killed by Orochimaru for some reason. The original book does not give any clear answers. But in Menma's opinion, the most reasonable guess should be that the case cage regretted it at the last moment. Then Orochimaru noticed it and launched an attack in order to continue to control the Sand Ninja. Orochimaru would naturally have no choice but to kill Rasa and impersonate him, which is the most reasonable guess. And it was when Menma was secretly speculating in his heart. On the high platform, Sarutobi Hiruzen also exchanged greetings with the fourth case cage, who was pretended by Orochimaru, and after Orochimaru sat down in his seat. Sarutobi Hiruzen also stepped to the front position officially announced the start of the main competition. Oh oh oh, it's coming, it's coming. It's finally starting. The boys of Konoha must work hard. We must win. The first game, this is the first game, Uchiha and Hayuga, I'm already excited. Go, Konoha's little fools. It's finally started. It also directly ignited the atmosphere of the entire venue. It reached a climax in an instant. Of course, this was a cheer limited to the people and low-level ninjas. Maki, Kakashi, Asuma, and Yakushi Kabuto who were scattered around the venue, as well as Yakushi Kabuto hidden in the shadows, all had their heartstrings tightened. Especially Maki, whose eyes were fixed on Gara. As the first person in charge of Konoha's collapse plan and the most important source of combat power for their Sunagakur village, there must be no chance of anyone appearing. Questionable. You must stick to the plan, Gara. Single quote. Marky thought silently in his mind. Subconsciously, 
he raised his head and looked at the area outside the distant Konoha hidden village. There was already a group of the most elite ninjas from their sand hidden village gathered there. When the signal was sent, they were directly on the weak side of Konoha hidden village. Launch the most violent attack. The Junin of Konoha had also received different orders before entering the venue. Even if Konoha still didn't know the exact plans of Sunagakur and Odogakur, the previous clues were enough for Serutobi to hear as and ordered everyone to be on guard. But unless it was a last resort, Hiruzen Serutobi was naturally unwilling to see the worst situation happen. This is Konoha after all, and any losses are likely to be doubled or even more. As the Hokage, Serutobi Hiruzen must hope that everything can land safely. But today's result is destined not to satisfy Serutobi Hiruzen, and there will be a big surprise waiting for Serutobi Hiruzen. The curtain is already slowly opening. Off the field. Yoshi, Except for Uchiha Sasuke and Hayuga Neji who stayed in the first game, the others returned to the rest stand first. Shiranui Genma turned around, looked at the ten Menma and Gara in the back with a dull look, and said in a calm tone. Falling words. Two people looking at each other. This is an obvious burst of intense sparks. Just as Sasuke was very satisfied with his first opponent, Neji was also happy that his first battle would be with Sasuke. Even though the Uchiha clan has been almost wiped out, this name still has great prestige in the ninja world. Defeat such an opponent, Neji would naturally feel his blood boiling. The other eight people whirled away. Come on, Sasuke, you must win against that guy. Sasuke-kun, come on. Naruto and Sakura also cheered for their teammates. Menma glanced at Sasuke and Neji with a slightly strange look, because it must be said that among the twelve Konoha heroes in the original book, who is most likely to become his companion, it is only Sasuke and Neji. The former has been proven in the original work. As for the latter, it can only be said that with that motivation and foundation, whether it can be done or not remains to be seen later. Moreover, Neji is a member of a separate family, so the caged bird is an unavoidable problem. However, these are all issues that need to be considered later. Today, we still have to sing this big drama well first, Single quote. Before walking into the corridor, Menma also took one last look at Serutobi Hiruzen on the high platform. He seemed to be looking forward to it, and waited a moment. Two separate people, eight people stepped forward. The first match, Uchiha Sasuke v's Hayuga Neji, begins. Shiranui Genma also glanced at the high platform, and after receiving the signal, he suddenly waved his right hand and shouted loudly. Compare that to the signal for war. Boom, in the side-down position. Sasuke's Sharingan opened immediately, reflecting the scarlet color, followed by the burst of chakra. In the opposite position, Neji smiled coldly. Roll your eyes. The blue veins popping up on his forehead are also the white eyes that open simultaneously. An aura far beyond that of ordinary genin rippled out. Boo, Sharingan, is this the Sharingan of the Uchiha clan? After so many years, I can see these eyes again. Tisk tisk, Byakugan vs. Sharingan, this first match is very exciting. We'll see if the Byakugan is stronger or the Sharingan is better. The audience in the stands also widened their eyes with excitement when they saw these two pairs of completely different eyes. The screams one after another added a bit of excitement to this duel. Haha, <laughs> Kakashi, this first game is a duel between our two teams. This is really youth. Metkai, who stood side by side with Kakashi, also gave a thumbs up and said with a smile. Aha, Kakashi responded lazily, and his single exposed eye inadvertently glanced at Maki who was also further away, with a solemn look emerging from the depths of his pupils. The duel started, no verbal communication is required or possible. Boom, Sasuke at the bottom, almost at the moment when Neji got into his stance, he preemptively charged towards Neji. Flash speed, on the occasion of Ningchi's appearance. The pupils of this genius of the Hyuga clan also shrank suddenly. A speed obviously beyond expectations. Gossip. Neji could only put on his strongest stance immediately. The two people collided fiercely. Boom. The ground was also covered with dust. Wow. So fast. When did Sasuke become so fast? On the stands, the faces of several ninjas watching the game changed slightly, especially Lee, whose expression became very serious. Naruto even shouted at this moment. The activation of lightning chakra. 
it can also be regarded as a cheating method. Single quote. Only Menma was not surprised. In the original work, Sasuke learned this move and Kakashi's exclusive ninjutsu, Chidori in a month. This made the second young master of the Uchiha family grow by leaps and bounds. It's a pity that he met Gara, the one-tailed Jinchuriki in the original work. Chidori can break through Gara's sand barrier at this stage and even injure Gara, but in the later duel, when Gara used Shukaku's power, Sasuke was no match for him. But now, facing Hayuga Neji, Sasuke obviously has the upper hand. Bang! The physical skills copied from Kakashi using the newly opened Sharingan, and the speed that soared to the extreme in a short time. Neji is completely in a disadvantageous situation. He can only passively defend against Sasuke's strong attack. It is difficult to make his own counterattack. Even the 8 diagram stance is difficult to put out directly. This situation is obviously not going to continue. Neji gritted his teeth and punched Sasuke hard, using the force to forcibly pull a distance. The posture of wanting to reorganize. Fire style. Great fireball technique. But it was easily seen through by Sasuke. With his hands quickly forming seals. A huge ball of fire. Oh oh oh. Wow. Amid the exclamations of many ordinary spectators on the stands, he fiercely pounced towards Neji's position. The flames are coming. The scorching heat spread. Neji, who was unable to escape, suddenly shrank his pupils, and at the same time, huge chakra spurted out from all over his body, and his whole body began to spin at high speed. Back to the days. In the stands, Hanada Hazashi, who came especially to watch the game, and some ninjas had shocked faces. A circle of extremely fast rotating halo appeared. Boom. Rumble. It can almost be said that he blocked the incoming fire escape technique perfectly. But this is a moment of interruption. It also made Sasuke close the distance again. Under the firm lock of the pair of Sharingan, there was no way to escape. Whoosh. Sasuke approached the position in front of him. That raised left leg. Heavy bombardment came down. Quote exclamation mark question mark quote. Neji subconsciously took a blocking stance. Boom. With the dull sound of impact, Neji felt his body sink. This guy. Single quote. This was far beyond the speed and power expected before the race. Looking at Sasuke who was so close. Neji's expression was no longer as calm as it was at the beginning. As a member of the Hayuga clan with the strongest taijutsu inheritance in Konoha Hidden Village, he was actually completely suppressed by the Uchiha clan in close combat. This was an unfolding that Ningji had never imagined. Especially the disadvantage in speed made it impossible for Neji to use many of his methods. Back to the days. He can only use his special skills again. Boom. Whoosh. Pushing Sasuke away again. It's such an annoying turtle shell. Then I want to see how hard your turtle shell can be. A cold look appeared between Sasuke's brows. Whoosh. Jumping forward, it was once again something that Neji didn't expect, and he took the initiative to retreat and pull away. E.H. What is this for? Put some distance. Going to such a high position. What are you doing? Even above the scene, among the tens of thousands of spectators with puzzled expressions on their faces, they jumped to the high wall behind the venue, where the vertical posture hung. Hee <laughs> hee. The next second, along with the marks that Sasuke made at high speed. Ziz s s s s s s s s s s s s What is this? Thunder. How harsh. Could it be? The sound of thunder burst out, and under the surprised expressions of countless spectators, the blue thunder gathered on Sasuke's hands. You actually taught this technique to this child. In the front row of the stands, Metkai suddenly turned to look at Kakashi beside him with a rare serious look, and said in a deep voice. Ha ha. This is Sasuke's talent, and this kid is very similar to me, Kai. Kakashi put his hands in his pockets and looked at Sasuke who was standing on the high wall, with a hint of complacency and said with a chuckle. This sight is clearly further focused. Oh, Sasuke, what kind of technique is this? Sasuke-kun, above the exclusive seats for players. Naruto and Sakura both widened their eyes. Menma's eyes also condensed slightly. When Shaoli and Tiantian felt this overwhelming and terrifying momentum, they subconsciously grasped the railing in front of them. Neji. Both of them looked at their talented teammate with a hint of worry. As the person involved, Neji also looked at Sasuke who was standing vertically on the high wall with a look of horror. What kind of magic is this? Single quote. 
This can be clearly felt as the forest aura hits the face. Byakugan can clearly see the surging chakra fluctuations. At this moment, Neji also smelled an aura called danger, and his heartstrings became completely tense. HMPH, Raging Thunder. Looking at Ningji's posture below, he looked like he was facing a powerful enemy. There was a look of disdain on Sasuke's face. Boom. The roaring and exploding sound followed. Chidori. It was like the chirping of a thousand birds, accompanied by that extremely harsh roar. Whoosh. Then the figure of Mercedes bends. In an instant. It is at a speed that ordinary viewers cannot capture. Flying Flash came to the close position of Neji. Back to the days. The power of Kai Guguo's approach. The cold atmosphere became extremely strong. Neji, who knew that he could not hold anything back, released his chakra to the greatest extent and spun out a cyan halo. This is, oh, coming, coming, coming. Quote exclamation mark question mark quote. Among the surprised expressions of countless spectators, the two suddenly struck together. Boom, the terrifying power that burst out, and the waves of air that rippled along with it. In the middle position that ordinary people cannot see. PFF. Even after Kaden blocked it for the first time, it was still a barrier forcibly broken open by the Chidori. When the clear cracking sound fell, Ningji's heart completely sank. The cold texture close at hand. The strong murderous aura that hit him. The Byakugan responded to the Sharingan. The scarlet color he saw. Neji had no room to maneuver, and he could not take any resistance measures. He closed his eyes in despair. Swish. Hum. But it was also at the last moment. Sasuke obviously forced to change the trajectory of Chidori's attack. Avoided the vital parts. The shoulder position that passed by. The torn clothes, and the blood that spurted out. The piercing pain that came, and the fierce numbness. When Neji's expression changed and he almost lost the ability to resist. Then, Sasuke approached in front of him and hit Neji's abdomen with his right fist. Wow, as his facial expression suddenly twisted, Neji also spit out a mouthful of extremely strong blood. Then Sasuke took advantage of the situation and grabbed Neji's collar. He fell heavily on the ground in front of him. Bang. There was a loud bang. Neji, who was hit hard one after another. At this moment, he felt that his body was about to fall apart. It was obvious that he could no longer control his body. When the dust and fog dissipated, the different postures of Sasuke and Neji, standing and lying, were completely reflected in the eyes of everyone present. Shiranui Genma, who was standing on the side, also saw this scene at that moment. He raised his right hand and shouted loudly, the winner of the first round of battle is Uchiha Sasuke. Oh 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 oh. Sure enough, Uchiha is better. Sharingan, this is the highest secret of the Uchiha clan. Konoha was once the most powerful family. It really deserves to be the Uchiha clan. Ha ha, I said, Uchiha will definitely beat Hanada. In the stands, when Shiranui Genjian's announcement fell, an extremely noisy and enthusiastic noise came out. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.